Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, one and all. Good to see you. Good to see you all after a lovely, nice weekend break. How's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing on this lovely January 30th? What the heck? How did we... Did, wait, didn't the year just start? How are we a month in already? Where'd the, where'd the time go? Someone, can I can I get a refund on this time? I didn't get to, like, spend it properly. <laughs> oh my goodness, how's everybody been? So weird for the intro to not be an intro of a VOD. <laughs> welcome on in, Rebeska Page. Welcome to, welcome to the live experience. Time does move way too fast, it's true. There's too much to do these days. And February is going to be like a crazy busy month for me, so there there might be, you know, streaming might be touch and go during February because that's going to be the main month where I'm where I'm moving. So, uh, so just just a forewarning, you know, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure I'll, I'll give a more formal announcement for uh, I'm, I'm going to still try to stream as much as I can, but I'm not going to push myself too hard, so. Good to see everyone's doing pretty well, though. Hello, Charo J, Miss Palindrome, Laisha, Salmon, Ladislav, Dragonic Moon. We got lot, lots of people in here today. Cobalt Cryptid. Are there any plans to make a video about the Stardew Valley expanded streams in the future? Uh, I mean, I've already committed to, to, to making more videos about about some of these streams. I mean, I've I've been I'm trying to work on uh on turning some of the past like streams and stuff into videos, but it's it's been slow going. I would I wouldn't count on it at any point in the near future. I'm not entirely sure where this Stardew expanded journey is is going just yet. I don't know if we're going to see it all the way through to perfection or or what's happening, but for now I'm just having a happy time discovering discovering the mod as it goes. By the way, Rebescapades, thank you for the gifted membership to Wool and Feet today. Thank, thank you for the generosity and the and the support. I, I appreciate it. We have one exam left until the end of the semester. Crazy month. It is a crazy month if you're if you're in like college and stuff, yeah, or in any kind of school, I guess. It's always a crazy time of year. Yeah, we'll see how it goes with the. Uh, with with and I mean I'm I'm not gonna lie I've been trying to do some editing on like price perfection and some other things and it's just been it's been it's been slow going because my mind is my mind is all over the place these days honestly I'm I'm pretty scatterbrained right now I have so many different things that I want to do and I don't know the order to prioritize them in <laughs> and that's that's my trouble right now is I've got too many too many ideas that come to mind and I try to focus on all of them at once rather than you know lasering in and taking my time with each individual one but uh, I'm excited to share some stuff in the in the near future <laughs> hopefully anyway it might not be what anyone expects but it's I've been working on on a couple things here and there that I'm excited to to put out so can't wait to see the price perfection video me too <laughs> same here you got perfection for the first time ever over the weekend yo or bescapades well done that is a long journey yeah that is is a commitment to get perfection in any capacity so very well done all right well, let's get the show on the road, shall we? Let's dive back. Well, we'll, we'll dive back into Flip's journey pretty soon here. But you all know how this goes at the start of a stream here. We got to go over some fan art before we do anything else. Just the, just the one little piece today. We got another lovely little snippet from the Mad Hatter over on Discord doing another, another lovely little portrait of Beatrix. Um, thankful, pay no mind to the current goal. Thankfully, that time is behind us. <laughs> But you know, a picture a picture paints a picture's worth a thousand words. And uh yeah, this this pretty accurately sums up how that whole process went during the randomizer. So <laughs> Thank you to to the Mad Hatter for encapsulating this this beautiful time of our lives in such uh, such eloquent detail. That is a massive bow, by the way. I mean the pink bow 
in the game is really massive, but when you see it like represented like this, you you start to realize just how much more massive it is. <laughs> She's having flash flashbacks. The gold clock is is gonna haunt her forevermore. Thank you to the Mad Hatter for this, and thank you to all the fan artists who have shared their art over the years. If you'd like to share your own, exclamation point Discord. There is a link to the Discord below the stream as well. Let us know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited, and all that good stuff. All right. I gotta get warmed up. I gotta I gotta do my dailies and warm up here. It's like it's like when you go to the to the gym. And you got to do your stretches before you get into the more rigorous exercise. We got to do our, our daily stretches, warm up my brain, warm up my vocal folds and capabilities before we dive in, dive straight into Stardew Expanded here. Because honestly, I don't know what we're doing in Stardew Expanded. <laughs> That's the problem with not playing a challenge run is that oftentimes I don't have like a tangible goal to work towards. But I guess I can just like make goals as I go. That's kind of the fun of it, isn't it? Is Habu working on Stardew Valley with Concerned Ape? I have no idea. <laughs> I am I am in the dark on that one. But all right, let's uh, let's do it, shall we? We got our dailies to go through, starting with a little bit of Poke Doku. Now in dark mode, I'm noticing. I think I think this is the first time I've seen it in like in night mode, which I don't even know if I can toggle it off. But like, why would you want to, right? Okay, today's puzzle looking not too bad, honestly. Grass fairy. Got yourself a cottony whimsicott situation. Are there any other grass fairy types? Sure, assuredly yes, but I think I'm just gonna go cottony on this, to be honest with you. Confirm. Cottony 15.1%. That seems pretty good. I must not be thinking of something else in 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 this realm. Uh grass fighting. Grass fighting isn't chestnut is grass fighting, but that's also a starter. So I feel like most people's minds, like most people who have not played Pokemon or played very like scant levels of Pokemon, their the starters are the things that stick in their mind the most, right? So I feel like chestnut is probably not ha 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 the way to go here. Breloom is another option, right? Um, Verizion is another option actually. Brizion, see, I'm t I'm torn now because I feel like Breloom's kind of an uh, kind of an iconic Pokemon, but Verizion's a legendary and Chestnut's a starter. They've all got their reasons for not going with them. I'm gonna go with Breloom. It kind of splits the difference here, I think. Forty-two point seven percent. Shoot, I should have known because it's from an earlier generation. It has that early generation bias where people who are playing this just like with their knowledge of Pokemon from when they were a kid will remember Breloom. Okay, that's fair. I should I should have known on that one. Forty two point seven is too high. I'm pretty sure. It, I mean, we got right, we got the answer right at least. But <laughs> grass type from Johto as Generation Two. You got of course you got your grass starters. That's probably going to be the most common option. You also got what Sunkern and Sunflora. Maybe we go Belossum on this one actually. Belossum. That is that was an additional uh, additional evolution to the Gloom line in Gen Two. So maybe not people won't remember that as much. Dark Fairy type? That's uh, the Impy Dimp line, right? I don't know if there are any other ones, so I'm just going to go Grim Snarl G Max and just send it. Dark Fighting? Dark Fighting. You got yourself Pangoro, not Pancham. I think I've made that mistake before. I think that Pancham was also Dark Fighting, but I believe it's just Pangoro. There are other ones here. Dark Fighting. I feel like they're higher gen though. Like I don't I feel like they're they're newer and I'm not remembering them right now. So I'm just gonna go Pangoro here. Give me a big panda boy. 33.3%. I'm happy to be in the third. Dark type from Johto. That's when dark types were first introduced, is in generation two. Were any Pokemon given dark type um like retroactively? I don't think any actually were. Like Kanto Pokemon given dark types, because I feel like that would be a good a good pull. I feel like we could all we could also go Mega Houndoom on this one because the Megas do count as being from that that area. Okay, that that that's great. Six point one percent. You love to see it. Um, baby Pokemon, baby, baby, baby. Are these Pokemon that can sing Justin Bieber? No, these are Pokemon that are pre evolutions that were introduced at a later date, in theory. 
Earth stage who can, Pokemon who cannot breed, but their evolutions can. That is the definition of, of a baby Pokemon. Baby fairy type, immediately you think of Togepi, you think of Cleffa? I don't know if Cleffa is a is a um, fairy type, actually. I know, I mean, Clefairy and Clefable are, but I don't remember if Cleffa is. I think Azuril is. It's like normal fairy. Iggly buff. There's, there's a lot of options here. What about Mime Jr.? Mime Jr. is a baby Pokemon, right? Yeah, 9.9% on that. We'll take that. A baby fighting type Pokemon? A little fighting baby? That's gonna be that's gotta be Tyrogue. 66.1%. I don't know what the other one is there, to be honest with you. I feel like there's only like one other one, and I I don't know it. Not off the top of my head anyway. Um, I digress. A baby Pokemon from Johto. That's when most of the baby Pokemon were introduced in the first place. Uh, Pichu and uh, Iglybuff are probably the most prevalent in people's minds. So maybe we go Cleffa here. Cleffa? Wait, was Cleffa... Yeah, Cleffa was Gen 2, right? Cleffa was Gen 2. Yeah, it was Johto. Alright. We got there in the end. Booyah. Elekid, Elekid. Oh, Elekid and Magby would have been good options there as well. Most common was Pichu. What's the least common here? Riolu is a baby Pokemon. Okay. Decidueye, Hisui, Moralol. What are these weird picks? Get me out of here. <laughs> you, when you see like these like lower tier picks, like you know Urshifu Single Strike G Max, like get me out. Of, I don't. I'm I'm out of my depth with that one. I'm just happy to get all nine right at the end of the day. Lisa, welcome on in. You think you prefer light mode Pokédoku? I usually prefer dark mode and everything, but I can see an argument for light mode Pokédoku. All right. And into Puffertle we go. These can't be expanded fish. These we're working purely off of vanilla levels of fish here. This seems like it could be a largemouth bass. Maybe it's a little harder than a largemouth bass, even. Not that much harder, though, right? Give me a largemouth bass just to start, though. Okay, I mean, that's... So you had <laughs> They had me in the first half, not gonna lie. Uh, season is right. Weather is right. Location is semi-correct. So it's available in the mountain lake, but also elsewhere. That actually narrows it down pretty dramatically. Because there's not a lot of fish that are available in the mountain lake a lot of the time. Um, it wasn't a sturgeon, was it? There's no way that was a sturgeon. Well, no, it, no, it wouldn't be a sturgeon because the season is a match, and this and largemouth bass and isn't largemouth bass all season? I want to say it's all season, all season. So this has to be an all season fish as well, right? Could you be a chub? I feel like that was too difficult for a chub. It wasn't like super difficult, but we'll try it. It was a chub. All right, <laughs> fair enough. I always I always think of chub as like a, as a super like easy fish, like one step above of a, above a carp. But maybe I don't give it enough credit. It seemed it seemed pretty like jumpy for a chub for sure. Bronte, I thank you being a member for eight months. By the way, at the electron level, thank you. Appreciate the generosity and the support. Yeah, Chubbs can definitely be a bit strange, but that was uh that was even that was even more beyond the realm of Chubb possibility than I thought. Either way, I digress. Let's go ahead and load up Smappy, shall we? Oh wait, hold on, I gotta check something. I gotta check something. Okay, I do have the right mods and stuff set up in my folder here because I've been playing around with uh I was doing a lot of like jumbling around of my mod folder earlier on wait what did, what happened what happened I'm getting so much red text oh I thought it wait do I not have all the right stuff hold on hold on Stardew Valley expanded appears to be installed incorrectly that's that's not what you love to see <laughs> uh oh all right I must be I must have forgotten something here hold on a minute have I tried Vortex? I probably should look into that, honestly. Instead of uh, doing things the old-fashioned way here. I think I know what's what I'm missing, though. I think I have to do this. And then this. And hopefully that'll just fix it. Turn it off and back on again. 
Nope. There's 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 still still red text. <laughs> Let's see. There seems to be what in the world is happening here? Hold on a minute. Okay. What, where are you giving me red text? Skip mods. These mods could not be added to your game. Stardew Valley expanded shop tile framework, forge locations, and music. Because it requires mods which aren't installed. This is, this is, you're giving me incorrect information. I've got the mods installed, I swear. Did not detect mods. Please download or make sure you have installed these mods. Yeah. I, I mean, I had them all previously, I think. Seems to be an issue with my Stardew Valley expanded installation. Hold on. Technical difficulties? My computer for gore? Let me look. Stardew expanded. That's all of them. I mean, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me just... What if I just, like, wipe all the mods out of this folder? Okay. Do this. Maybe maybe we do just do, like, a... We're not... I, I shouldn't have to reboot the computer. That wouldn't change anything, I don't think. It would be unlikely to have an impact. Have an impact. Okay. So we wipe that out. Then I go over to my mods mod directory. Stardew expanded. This, this, this. Okay, yes. This, this, I mean, this should, I'm pretty sure this is what I had before, but I don't see. And now we wait. Okay. And Smappy. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, is, how is that? How is there more red text than before? Wait, this, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, no. Chad, did I break everything? How did, how have I, do I have to re-download things? Found 16 mods with warnings. Okay, I have multiple copies of this mod installed. I don't, okay, so I'm, so I'm doing something wrong there. They might have been updated. Normally, if it's been updated, it gives you like a little purple purple text that lets you know, like, hey, you're working with an outdated version of the mod. Maybe Stardew Expanded is is built different. Well, I'll close that out. I'm I was so sure that you could just like that I could just do this. Okay. Wait. Hold. Hold. Wait. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I just closed it. I I got rid of. I got rid of one thing that I had. I'm so confused right now. I can't explain to you the reason, but I think I think I got it working. I have no red text. I have no red text. Stardew Valley Expanded uses deprecated code. That's that's all it's telling me. But that's that's par for the course. I'm pretty sure. I think it's working now. I think it's working. We're gonna we're gonna load in and we're gonna find out. <laughs> we're gonna see how how it looks when I load in here and hope hope that not everything is broken. Um, let me let me load it up just so I can see. All right, flip. I'm gonna flop into this farm here. Katie O'Neill, hello, hello. You're here just in time for technical difficulty troubleshooting. I thought I had messed something up severely. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, chat, because I've been dabbling in a bit of modding myself, like trying to learn some actual modding, and I thought I might have messed something up, but I, I was pretty sure I hadn't. I think I, there must have just been something I was overlooking there, so. All right. Um, Let me get out of the music here. Yeah, I've been, I've been looking into possibly making a mod or two myself because I have ideas and I want to 
I want to be able to execute on those ideas. And I have a base level knowledge of code to coding to work with. That said, what I've been the little bit of dipping my toes into the modding pool that I've done so far has given me a lot more respect for mod makers than I already had. And I already had quite a bit. So. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's pop in, shall we? It might take a minute for the black screen to subside, but we should be good. And you got you got audio, you got in-game music. We go in-game music with uh, expanded because we like to like to hear it. I think I, I think there's like custom music in this in some places too. Modding is a rough path to take for sure. I'm doing baby steps for now. Right now I'm just right now I'm I'm starting easy by doing like content patcher stuff, which is not like full C sharp coding. It's just coding with like JSON and stuff. And then we'll I'll make this I'll make this step a little later on. But for right now, the things that I have in mind are only uh I don't need to do that much with the game, so. Alright. Yo, Slip! Slippy, how you doing, buddy? Still here. Still has not blinked in a single, like, fortnight. <laughs> Alright, what do we got today? We got good good gold pyramid luck. You love to see that. Living off the land. Get your hands on a fishing pole. I've done more than my fair share of fishing here. Not gonna lie. Alright, we got cauliflowers at the ready. Do I need cauliflower for anything right now? I've got rare crops, summer crops, fall crops. Okay. We have the boiler room. I think we were working on this, right? On getting the boiler room done so I can have access to the minecart system. That seems like probably the smart way to go still. I think that's that should still be one of our starting goals here. That said, I do also want to explore the... Um, I want to explore friendships and relationships with like a lot of the new... A lot of the new characters as well. I feel, like, I feel like I've been, you know, just kind of meeting them in passing, and then neglecting them. I need, I feel like I need to expand, quote, pun certainly intended. I need to expand my horizons. Come by the shop and check out the new rods. Is that iridium quality rod? Greetings, Flip. It is our pleasure to inform you. You've been... Alright, sure. They just don't show up on the day when I'm working, please. Ollie's baby. I forgot about the four-leaf four clover. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna that four leaf clover is gonna make a good birthday gift for somebody at some point. Is today anybody's birthday? It very well could be. I don't think it's anyone's vanilla birthday. Buddy. Flip and flop. Name a more iconic duo. You can't, I'll wait. Eat the fish. What can anyone just remind me why I have two largemouth bass in my inventory, by the way? <laughs> I think they're just food. I want to say they're just they were just for food purposes, but maybe I am wrong. They're friends. I can get behind that honestly. But I can't befriend every single fish that I catch, otherwise we're going <laughs> to we're going to end up with a full house before you know it. Maybe one for Jody. Have we done Jody's quest yet? I mean, I was just checking my quest. We don't have any of those. I've got room for two more. Uh, we didn't have a fish tank in here somewhere. I, I could have sworn I bought a fish tank for my frog, and then I for I. Yeah, I got a fish tank here. Okay, I, sh I should put down the fish tank, and then we can. There you go. I can only hold on to one of you. All right, fair enough. See, do I have any seeds that I can plant in that cauliflower spot? We don't have much time left in spring here, so I don't think I'd be able to plant that much there. Um, I guess I can plant these two. Well, the mixed seeds might not grow in time. I feel. I mean, I feel it feels weird just leaving two empty spots right there. I guess I can just go buy some like parsnip seeds or something like that. Quick few parsnip seeds. Actually, I might be able to get potato seeds even because they grow in what six days. So I think we'd probably be okay with that. I uh, don't need my watering can. All right, let's go see what's what. Let's let's see go, what's happening in town today. Let's just go out on the town and mingle for a little bit. See what people are up to around here. Get my lay of the land again. I haven't played expanded in, in a little while now. I was gonna play it last week, but then uh, but things got in the way and I was unable to to stream it last week. So. 
Okay, it is Andy's birthday tomorrow. Andy loves beer. He, I know that. I'm pretty sure I bought him a beer and it was a love gift for him. So that would be an easy one to go for if we want to go that way. Um, I don't know what else he loves, but that's, so maybe I just default to that. Community day, baby. Potato seeds. These take six days to mature, so they should be ready in time. Go ahead and pick up a couple of those. I do have enough money for, uh, for the, for the second backpack upgrade there, but I feel like I'm doing fine with just the two rows. I'm not even utilizing the second row, really. No, yeah, we got no hat for Flip right now because his his hair is so luxurious. It, it just can't be held down. We, the only hat we have at our disposal right now is this straw hat. And like, look, he, now he just doesn't, he just doesn't even look like himself anymore. I, I hate to say it. I'm sure there are other hats out there that will do our hair more justice, but, but that ain't it, Chief. You've got a fro like him? Yo, that's awesome. Okay. There's so many stones down here. What the heck? Who let all these stones loose? I forget where I was going. I just started walking. I just, I've just started walking. And I'm just going to go explore. Marnie's out here tending to her, her cauliflower fields. Respect that. My crops are healthy this season. I expect they'll make a good profit. Speaking of profits, what should I do with this money? Should should we go for a house upgrade first and foremost here, just so we have access to, like, cooking and stuff? Give us access to a kitchen, give us more room to work within the house. That might be the smart play with this uh, first, like, ten grand that we got here, to be honest with you. Andy also loves butterfish. Can I catch a butterfish? It's a good day for foraging, could make some decent coin. I know my way around Sindersap Forest like the back of my hand. Yeah, me too. That's why I keep my uh, my chest of valuable goods out there. In a place that I always can come back to very easily. Flip like into cook sounds nice. No worries, Jessica. Enjoy enjoy your lurkdom. Butterfish are pretty hard, but technically available at the bridge. They're probably like slippery little guys, right? They're ava available in spring. If Andy loves butterfish, I'm going to go talk to to Sophia here really quick. I'm just making the rounds. Hello. Do you need something? I would I would love to buy... Wait, I can buy sprinklers from you, right? The sprinklers are, like, super expensive, though. I'm pretty sure. It's probably not the best use of our money right now. I mean, five sprinklers, 600 each. That could be a, a, a decent investment. Before we get, as we get into, as we get towards summer here. I don't know. We can, we can, we can sit on it for a little while. Butterfish has a level requirement. I am currently level six fishing. Would I be able to get the butterfish or is it still too, too far beyond my purview? This goes, this goes beach. Okay. You can butter piano, but you can't butter fish. Watch me try. I love the conch shell, by the way. Oh, we got more... We got crab pots down here as well. Can't forget about the crab pots. I'm really just trying to acclimate myself to... to the area as best I can here right now. I can't sell the conch directly to Willy. That's interesting. I guess it's because it's not a fish. That's fair. Level 5 for the butterfish. So I could go catch the butterfish. What time is it available? Is it a, is it an early day fish? Is it a nighttime fish? Is it an all all day Andy? Oh, I forgot we repaired this bridge as well. I do think I want to go for a house upgrade before I focus on too much else. I don't know if you go house upgrade or if you go like coop or barn or what first, but. But house upgrade just feels right to me. Anytime, any weather, all day. You just need to be level five fishing at Shearwater Bridge, and then we're and we're good to go. Okay, I can make that work. I 
I'm willing to at least attempt to catch a butterfish. Whether we succeed or not, you give Dusty many pets, as he as he so rightfully deserves. And whether we succeed or not here is, is another matter. I don't know how difficult the butterfish is actually going to be, but... Based on its name and based on its level requirement, like, the only other fish in, like, vanilla that I know that has a level requirement other than the legendary fish is the scorpion carp. And that does not instill me with confidence that this is going to be a an easy, you know, one-tap fish. I feel like I might have, might have to work at this one for a minute. Let Flip cook. Flip's going to make some pancakes, as is a befitting of his name. Butterfish isn't that bad. Should I just, like, sell all this, or should I hold on to some of it? I kind of... I feel like I should maybe hold on to a conch just in case I need it for something. Um, everything else, I think I'm just... I'm probably just going to sell here. There's one Stardew Expanded fish that haunts your nightmares. Ooh, tell me more. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't tell me more, though. Don't tell me more. We need to find out for ourselves. Alright, we're going fishing. I got an ish, itch to fish. All hail the mighty conch. Conch shells are so, they're so cool, I wish they were real. How are you doing here, ladies? I was actually going to come over and swing by Olivia's house here. My schedule is quite busy, but I make sure to fit in time with Caroline and Jody on Mondays and Thursdays. They're both close friends of mine. And you cer certainly wouldn't let it get interrupted by a random... By someone, some random person walking by. I guess we're not, I'm not a random person. We got two hearts with you. My friend, my, I try my best to stay away from Pam. She just doesn't sit well with me. Why, dear? That's none of your business. I, you know what? Fair play. I'm being a little too nosy here. Have I checked out the aquarium mod? I have not. I, I'm still a I'm still pretty novice when it comes to just exploring the world of mods in general. So I'm uh this is this is my first dive into anything like major like this. I don't know how big the aquarium mod is, but how's my Monday? Just another manic Monday, brother. I need to write a lot of emails today. I'm not looking forward to it. I can tell. <laughs> He's researching the best the best opening lines for emails. Should I start with to whom it may concern? No, that's too formal. What about, hey there, no, that's too casual. I gotta st strike somewhere in the middle. Chat, what's your go-to opening line for an email? If you if you if you send emails on a on a regular basis, which many of you might not, <laughs> what's what's your go-to opening line? For just like some someone that is someone that you kind of know, but not really, like an acquaintance of some kind. Just hello, hello name comma. Hi, I'm a, I'm a fan of the exclamation point for sure. What the heck? Is this a butterfish? This is this is something big. It could be a puppy fish, maybe. It's ju he's jumpy. He's a he's a jumpy lad. Oh gosh, okay. I yeah, I'm a fan of the exclamation point at the start of the greeting for an air of puppy fish, let's go. <laughs> it's the puppy fish. This fish wants nothing but but pets and snacks. <laughs> but he's worth but he's but I get 180 energy for eating them. I don't think I'm going to do that though. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. Now, yeah, we can definitely replace the largemouth bass in the tank with this with this little fella. Get some puppy emojis in chat. Puppy emojis. Gold quality puppy fish. Not what we were looking for, but a nice surprise. Oh, we might have we might, might have another one here. Oh. Oh, okay, fair enough. I have to assume that was a puppy fish. Eat the puppy. The fact that they give you the option to eat the puppy fish is 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 kind of insane to me. They didn't have to make this an edible fish. There there are many fish out there that are not edible. 
I don't know how I feel about that one. There's a recipe with them? Oh my gosh, never. Never. Well, I mean, I guess if you had to if you're going for perfection in this, then you'd have to, but Stardew Expanded Aficionados is the puppy fish harder or easier than the butterfish? By and large. Puppy fish number two. Hello, by the way, leap a lot. Hello, hello. It's called a bark burger. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Butterfish is very specific. Very specific. It's it's got a very like noteworthy pattern, is what you're telling me. Like when I cat when I hook a butterfish, we're gonna know it's a butterfish. Does it grease up my bar so it's sliding around all over the place? And all of a sudden I'm like, whoa, this is, these aren't the fishing physics I'm used to. Oh, geez. It's like an ice level, but for fishing. Spells butter in Morse code. Is this a butterfish? It's kind of, it's, it's giving off, it's giving pufferfish vibes right now. It's giving pufferfish vibes, but not floating to the top. This, this feels like it could be... Specific. I, I kind of get what you mean about specific. Okay, that's that's a butterfish. Butterfish acquired. Commonly used in dishes around the Ferngill Republic. Bro, it's literally a bar of butter with eyes. <laughs> it's just a big old stick of butter. Dip it in some mayonnaise. You got yourself a nice afternoon snack. Yummy. Why is the butterfish less... Why is the butterfish less energizing than the puppy fish? Make it make sense. I'm pretty content with that. I, I I really only needed to catch this butterfish because I was told that Andy loves it as a gift. I can't believe it's not butterfish. I thought I was about to get a heart event there for a second, but it was just taking a minute to load. Fair enough. Um, is there a chance I could go? We have if I, I I'm just I'm I'm decide we've got pretty good luck today. Maybe there's a chance, if I hurry, that I can get a couple floors deeper in the mines. I don't remember where we left off on the mines. Um, that would be a bad idea to invest in some some more tool upgrades in the near future here as well. I'm going to go check and just, and just see. Maybe if I really push, we can get down a little further. And if not, we can at least get like a few more resources or something like that. Spreading myself too thin. Like butter across a like a like a butterfish across a fresh seaweed sandwich or something like that. I don't even know. Andy, Willie, and Victor all love the butterfish. I mean, who doesn't love the butterfish? Thumbs up if you love the butterfish. Thumbs down if no. Butterfish is is cool in my book, honestly. Yeah, we got lots of stuff smelting here. That's good to see. Um, put these away for the time being. I don't need them. Chat disconnected. Please wait while we try to reconnect you. Successfully reconnected. YouTube, you doing all right? <laughs> did we experience? Did we experience a minor hiccup in the system? I don't even I don't even know if I don't know if any of you guys saw that one, but <laughs> hopefully we're all right here. Good poem, puppy fish supremacy. We can have puppy fish and butterfish leap. It does not have to be mutually mutually exclusive. Dare I say we can combine their strengths and make the 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 putterfish most supreme and great of all organisms. That's a lot of dust sprites, but unfortunately I forgot my weapon. So so that's on me. Uh, we go broken trident here. I also don't need the scythe, I'm realizing. If I'm going to go... I'm, we're going to try and just power through. I believe we can make floor 60 here. I think we can make floor 60 happen. With a copper pickaxe? Not a doubt in my mind. Get these, get, get these clowns out of here. Okay, not bad. Actually, I should be able to get this ghost 
You, you, well, I, I messed that up, but the ghost is, the dagger is pretty good for ghosts. Doesn't have that much knockback. I do have to remember that it takes considerably longer to get home in, uh, in Stardew Expanded, so I have to be, I have to be careful of that. We're starting off strong here. Okay. Also need to be wary of my my health. I ain't invincible around here. It's a lot of soot sprites. Come on, buddy. I'm just I'm just kind of just banking on one of these guys dropping a staircase for me here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Oh wait, isn't floor 59 a spiral floor? Have I set myself up for failure here? Oh well. You know, when when <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make it work one way or the other here. I'm in I'm in too deep now to back out, so I, I'm 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 just gonna have to make this work. Yeah, I should probably go look for a staircase before I waste too much time breaking the rocks here. Take the coal. Closing in on 11 p.m. This is a pretty sparse floor, which gives me hope that we can get the staircase nice and quick like that. You love to see it, okay. And now you just break every rock you can see, because I, I don't have time to be meandering through trying to... trying to look for a staircase that may or may not exist. I will kill the bat, because there's a good chance it would drop a staircase. We can get out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried. We're, we're, we're going to make it out with plenty of time, and we're going to make it back home. It's, it's, I'm not even worried. Not even slightly concerned about, about our time restraints here. We're chilling. You watch that bat spawn into existence. You witness the miracle of life. A bat birthed from the beautiful void of Stardew, of Stardew Valley. Shouldn't be breaking those. There's no staircases in those. I'm starting to feel exhausted. Okay, we might pass out. <laughs> We're probably gonna pass out here. I'm. Just, I just. I just looked up at the time and realized. Oh wait, it's it's 12:30. But. It will all be worth it once we get this staircase. Just you wait. Just you wait, chat. We're gonna get this staircase and we're gonna be we're gonna be smiling. We're gonna be so glad we did this, even though we're gonna lose what, like a thousand dollars? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when we get ourselves a wood mallet out of the deal. Baby. Alright. Leave the mine. I can make it. I can still make it home. Okay. Um Leave the wood mallet, leave that, take this, take this. What are we taking with me? I should take the fishes, I should take these. I should, honestly, I should probably take all, like, this stuff that's been smelted here. Take the fiberglass rod, take the geode. Leave the rest. And go. We out of here. This game is rigged. How you doing, by the way, Mar Marlin? Hello. Can I help you with something? Can you please get me home? Can I can I crash with you tonight? Please, sir? <laughs> the witching hour is upon us. And I got no speed buffs. All right, how far how far can I make it home? Can I at least make it onto the farm? Dude, there's too much grass in the way. Whose idea was it to put this beautiful like atmospheric grass out here that that gets in my way? I'll take that. If you don't mind. 1:50 a.m. Should have just kept going. There was no way I was making floor 65, so I, I think I think this I made the the best of a possibly suboptimal decision. Level three combat at least, so we we didn't lose any energy out of the deal. 352. How much gold do I lose lose on that? Do I lose a th Do I lose like a full thousand gold? Yeah. That's okay. It's a rainy day today. Rainy neutral day. 
We swap you out. Largemouth bass is out of season. Puppy fish all the way. What the heck, dude? He's like a he's like a superhero dog. What? Why is he doing that like superhero dive? He's so cute. You little cutie. He's got his tongue out and everything. I mean, the normal one has his tongue out too. That is amazing. <laughs> underdog oh my gosh okay let me sort out my inventory here before i get too far along um these can go over here got a decent amount of uh i guess i should probably build up some more iron so that we have um so that we have more resources to make sprinklers come summer here Okay, it, it is Andy's birthday. I should definitely prioritize that before anything else, I think. So we take the butterfish to Andy. I don't think I'm going to be going fishing today, necessarily. Should I upgrade any tools? Oh, my, I'm so... there's. See, this is my problem. I, I'm, I'm torn in so many different directions. Thanks for nothing, Harvey. Just kidding. Thank you for keeping me alive, I guess. <laughs> All right, that's our first frozen tier. We can donate that one if we want to. Um, geode. I guess I can, I, I, I can open geodes. Iron axe to unlock new areas. Didn't realize I brought this copper ore with me as well. Um, some rubies there. Hold on to those. I'm just trying to decide whether I should prioritize the house upgrade or the tool upgrades. We gotta upgrade we gotta upgrade lots of things, but maybe tool upgrade before house upgrade. Maybe we should like focus on getting like a full suite of copper tools before we uh before we go house upgrade. Or at least like a copper like axe and watering can and stuff. Not watering can, but uh copper copper hoe. Get the axe, the secret wood has lots of surprises. Salmon's did a good guide on the tools and showed out after the copper pickaxe, it's not that great. I feel like steel pickaxe is worth it still, if only because it makes, like, uh, like some rocks in the mines take, like, one fewer hits. Beyond steel, like, gold, gold and iridium pickaxe aren't as, aren't as profound upgrades, though, that is true. Cuber Liam, by the way, thank you for the $5 super chat. Thank you, thank you. Currently working through the Price Perfection VODs. You're on number 17, but you saw you li I was live and wanted to send some support. Thank you for the entertainment. Thank you for watching. I hope you continue to enjoy those Price Perfection VODs. You got you got a ways to go through them, but I think you're in for a fun ride, dare I say. So, so thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. Gold pickaxe look, looks better. For early game, you mean, yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to... I'm making up my mind right now. I'm making up my mind. You know what? You know what we should... You know what we should do? We should live up to Flip's name. And let's... Let the toss of a coin decide our fate here. I think... Because I'm torn between the house upgrade and going for the copper axe. So, he heads house upgrade, tails copper axe. And that's that's where... I I'm, I'm putting my money where my mouth is here. Hey, Siri. Uh -huh. Flip a coin. It's Tails. Tails. That's a copper axe. That is a copper axe certified moment. Wait, I already have a copper axe. I'm a fool. <laughs> okay, well, I can make a copper hoe then. I can make a copper hoe. It's still, it's still a tool upgrade. I'm still, I'm still going to... I'm still going to follow the coin's whims. Do we really need a copper hoe? It helps. It helps. I mean, we're actually going to be doing farming for the first time in, like, so long on any of our playthroughs. So I feel like a copper hoe could be useful. What about the copper watering can? Uh, Well, I would need to water tomorrow still because tomorrow's the flower dance. I think you want to... Don't you want to send... Isn't the meta to send your watering can for an upgrade when it's going to be raining, like, tomorrow. So I would check the weather if it's raining. I would water all my crops, send it for an upgrade, and then... I think, yeah, okay. So I think we hold off on the watering can. Can I get a steel axe? 
Um, I think I actually might be able to do a steel axe. I've got five iron bars and I have the money. We could we could go steel axe instead. We could go steel axe. Steel axe would be great for the for the secret woods. Go to steel axe. All right, you know what? Many people are saying steel axe. The coin did say axe upgrade. Even though I, I quantified it as copper axe, I just forgot we already had the copper axe. So we'll go steel axe on this one. If it, if it unlocks like new expanded content, that is, uh, that's, that's a pretty strong vote in its direction in my mind. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Let's go down and see if we can catch Andy bright and early on his birthday here while we got this butterfish. I got butter on my mind and in my pockets. Yeah. I don't know when Andy comes out is the problem. <laughs> I, I don't I like he's a farmer, so I have to imagine he's out like kinda early, right? Did I go like the totally wrong way here? I probably did, yeah. Okay, I think we can wrap around. Isn't there there's there's a wrap around down here, right? Even the emojis steal or whatever cut whatever color. We do, unfor we do have a, an, a, a sort of an emotional attachment to the Copper Axe, though, but, you know, we can't let that get in the way of progress, necessarily. Alright. Andy, you available? He is. He's, he's walking his well-trodden path. Sir, would you like this butterfish? I found it specially for you. You remember my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. A new friend. What? How many hearts is that? Five hearts with Andy. I mean, I should have expected, I guess, because it's a gold star butterfish. We're going into the forest tomorrow for the dance festival, farmer. I know my way in and out of my eye with my eyes closed. Maybe I'll find some good forage on the way there. Neoba darn plants. I think we've read this one before. More than Joja fertilizers. That's five hearts with Andy. Yo, we can we can dance with Andy at the at the flower dance. Yippee! All right, quick five heart event check. No heart event. Worth the look, see anyway. All right, let's head off and donate this frozen tear. We'll send our axe in for an upgrade, and then we'll uh, see where the rest of the day takes us. Good evening, there, Shantajen. Joja fertilizer will kill his crops. They probably put, like, caffeine in the fertilizer. Don't know what that would necessarily do for the plants, but it, it can't be good, I would imagine. You don't enjoy dancing? Only go to the flower festival for, for, for the free cake? Based, honestly? <laughs> sounds like my kind of... Sounds like my kind of dance, honestly. Show up, grab the free food, and hang it on the side. Playing Pokemon Go or something like that. Joja fertilizer is probably highly addictive. That's how they get you. They make, they make it so the plants can't survive without the jo Joja fertilizer. They would be a good day to go to the mines. Who knows, you might find some rare ores. I've already found plenty of rare ores, my friend. That's how I can afford this steel axe. Bro, I just realized, why does Clint have... He's got just, like, copper and iron ore nodes on his, on his dresser drawer. Kind of, I mean, it's, I'm, you know, I'm not one to diss someone's decoration. It's just, it's just an observation. There's a book by Marnie on foraging. I don't think there's, there's probably not any new books in, uh, in Expanded, are there? Did I have any rewards to collect here? No. Okay. Quick little, quick little read through here. An old farmer's journal. I've been here for a year now. Snoozy. Scarecrow's already made one. Secret of the Star Dropped. Boring. Journey of the Prairie King. Been there, done that. I beat that game. Chat, can I tell you something about can I tell you something about Prairie King, by the way? Increased by 0. 0.000016 per level. Alright then. I was playing I was actually just off screen. Like off stream. I had the urge to play Prairie King for the first time in a long time. And I played through it. 
partially at, because I wanted to get practice in for um, for the inevitable factors challenge goal in the randomizer, and partially just because I was like I just wanted to play it because it's because it's a fun game and I like it. And I had probably the most insane luck that I've ever had in any playthrough of Prairie King ever. I was so sad that I wasn't playing it and, like, recording it or streaming it or anything like that. In in a single level, I'm, I'm just gonna... There was, there was one level in particular that just, like... That just, like, burst the doors wide open on it. If you've never played Prairie King, this might not sound that crazy, but if you have, then you'll know that this is kind of insane. There was one level in World 2 where the enemies were dropping so much money that I, I started that level with somewhere around, I think, like, 10 coins. By the end of that level, I had 64 coins. <laughs> I w it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I was like, this man, this is a once-in-a-lifetime run. How? They were just dropping five, like, five-piece coins left, right, and center. It was, it was like, trust me, I was just as baffled. It sounds even crazier than, than I could ever imagine. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I guess I can go back to the mines. I've got my pickaxe. We can try, I feel like we should probably try and push down to floor 80. Um, not, not, like, floor 80 in one day here, but to, but to get closer, because we... The only thing we need for the um, the one bundle in the boiler, boiler room is a fire quartz. So the quicker we can get down there, the better we can, the sooner we can do that. Of course, I don't get to use it for content. I know there's no way I'm getting that lucky in my actual Vector's challenge attempts on uh, on the randomizer. That's for darn sure. Wood mallet or broken trident? I mean, I guess I can bring both. Doesn't hurt to have like a, a weapon switch. CG boy, hello, hello. And that that run, by the way, chat. That's how I discovered something that I never knew about Prairie King. Because I played through, I play, I played through the first quest, and once you beat the first one, um, which I which I did, there's it unlocks hard mode, and I and I wanted to play hard mode as well, just because you know I've I've never, I, I've to this day I've still never beaten hard mode. I've done Factor's Challenge, but I've never beaten Journey Prairie King hard mode. So I I started going through that. And I did pretty decent, still lost in the end. But I discovered that there is a an upgrade in Prairie King that I never knew about. Where if you buy, like, each of the upgrades you buy at the shop, there's, like, three iterations of them, right? You buy, like, a one, like, like three different damage upgrades, three different fire rate upgrades, and three different um, speed upgrades. And once you clear out, usually the only one that I clear out in like the the base game is the is the damage upgrade, because you really need those damage upgrades early on in order to be able to survive some of the like the later levels. And usually once you buy all the upgrades, um, or at least for that one, it unlocks the ability to buy like a power up. You can buy like the sheriff star. But what I didn't realize is that when you unlock when you buy all three fire rate upgrades. It unlocks a fourth fire rate upgrade for 99 coins in the shop, and I was like, "What the heck does that even do? Like, <laughs> like, how? Like, does that just give you like permanent like machine gun status or something? I don't even know." So that's that's you know a new a new goal of mine at some point in the future is to unlock the 99 gold gun in uh in Prairie King someday. Now that now that I know it's a possibility, I have to I have to see it through. Who knows? Maybe we'll make a make an effort of it during during a stream in the future at some point. I, I mean, I just had I just had the itch to play Prairie King. I can't describe it. I know Prairie King is definitely not everybody's cup of tea. Many people bemoan the fact that Factor's Challenge that there's like a Steam achievement for it. At least it's not required for perfection. Counter lucky stars that way, I suppose. But it's definitely, it's definitely right up my alley. Ooh, look at all those crates over there. Yo, this is a, this is a stacked floor. Look at all these dust sprites and all those crates over there. There's just so much going on. Ooh, that felt good. <laughs> Thank you. 
You'd never get perfection if you had to do this, had to do the Steam achievements. I feel like that's true of a lot of people. What the heck? A lead rod? A level six club? I just got my level five club, dude. <laughs> I'll take it. I didn't realize the sprites could drop that. Hold on, by the way. Is this an expanded change that I'm noticing? Where I can use the special move for my club and still have the special move for my dagger? That's not normally like that, is that? I could have sworn that, like, special move recharge is shared between weapons in the base game. That's a, that's part of the mod. It's a good, it's a good quality of life upgrade, not gonna lie. You think there was a staircase to the left? I will go have a little look-see. Because if there's a is there's a free staircase hanging about, then we don't want to waste our time just banging on rocks over here. Wait, that's normal? I could have sworn that was not normal like normally like that. Just for the same kind of weapon. Okay, so the recharge is shared between like daggers and clubs and stuff. Yo, there was a staircase there, thank you. Ooh, diamond. Looking like a diamond in the rough. Might be able to make floor 70 happen here, actually. We, in fact, we probably will be able to, unless our, our luck just turns for the absolutely most abhorrent state you've ever seen. Do I need to donate a diamond? Aquamarine, I need to donate diamond, I need to donate. Prob Diamond's still probably better served as money right now, though, honestly. Er early on in the game, I feel like it, it, you're, it's, it's, you're in your best interest to sell basically every diamond you come across. Because you'll always find more. It's, the diamonds are not as rare as as you might think. Now, now, these guys, these special slimes, might be ra as rare as you think. I got an, I got a second lead rod. Imagine buying two cereal boxes and getting the same prize out of both of them be the saddest day ever as a kid. Okay, I should probably eat some stuff here. And I think you're becoming a member at the Electron level, by the way. Thank you. Hope you enjoy your newfound emotes and your sword. Careful where you swing that thing. Oh, staircase. Let's go. Why is there no ghost eradication goal? Because the ghosts have already been eradicated. That's how they became ghosts in the first place. We're, we're just we're just putting them out of their misery down here. We had very different childhoods then. To be honest, I don't think I ever had cereal as a kid that I got, like, a toy out of, to be honest with you. I don't even know if they still do that anymore. Do they still put toys in the cereal? Or did, like, did, like, the FDA put the, like, quash that one for some reason? Ghosts aren't real. There are skeleton and mummy goals, though. Skeletons and mummies are different brands of undead. They are animated corpses with, male with malevolent intent. Ghosts, are, they're just trying to hug you. They're just trying to hug you. And it's, uh, and they just don't know how to go about it. Do I take mixed seeds over anything here? I guess over this other lead rod. <laughs> I could have, I could have sold the lead rod for money in theory, but I, I rarely go to my way to actually sell the weapons, to be honest. Loose slimes escaping. Don't worry. They can't run far. Don't worry, they won't get far on foot. Isn't that the name of a movie? It's always stuck in my brain because it seems like such a strange name for a movie. 
a way down has appeared. Thank you. Ghosts just want warmth and they don't realize they're hurting you. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Master Slingshot? I forgot that this was the Master Slingshot floor, to be honest with you. Um, I will toss... I mean, there's many options I could toss here. I'm just going to toss this three wood, I think. Could have tossed the goat. Do I need the ghost fish for anything? I don't need it for, for a bundle by the looks of it. Quality fish bundle. I think we already did all the fishing for that we can for the bundles right now. Exotic foraging. I don't think I need the I don't think I really need the ghost fish for anything, but I'll hold on to him for the time being. Alright, let's get out of here, shall we? Sap? Hello? I thought that was a ghost coming up to get me, but it's just Marlin. Hmm, what's that? A hat? Yes, I'm aware the flower festival is tomorrow. My attendance was requested by Mayor Lewis. And... Don't leave me a cliffhanger, dude! <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Let's do a little smelting here. A little smelteroo. Five more copper bars, or iron bars, excuse me, to replace the ones that we... That we used at uh, Clint's the other day. Not even the other day, but just today. Okay, bring that back with me. I will leave the that and that. Well, I guess I can get some copper ore smelt, copper bar smelting too here. While I'm out here. Okay. Everything else for everything else. There's Mastercard. All right. Maybe Marlin was a ghost? I mean, we'll, we'll uncover things about Marlin we never even could have fathomed in this in this mod, I'm sure. The fact that he's got, uh... He's got, like, friendship hearts and everything. There's more than meets the eye there. Undoubtedly. 2018 movie title, don't worry, he can't get far on foot. That's probably the one I was thinking of. No, no, I was thinking of the other one. Don't get where don't they can't get far on foot. <laughs> the sequel. You got whiplash from seeing seeing Marlin. Me too, honestly. I was I'm so not used to other people being in the mines other than our our homie, and they never move from their their solemn position off on the side there. Bro, I forgot how... <laughs> I probably need to do some farm clearing at some point. Is something I'm, I'm realizing here. There's a little, bit of, a little bit of debris up this way, at least. Yikes. Alright. Put all that away. That away. Aquamarines. Frozen tier. Frozen tier. I don't remember... If it's needed for, like, one crafting recipe, but I don't know if there's necessary. I guess it's not bad to hold on to for, like, a gift or something in the future. For Sebastian. And I'm just gonna sell the diamond, as I as I professed. Love a debris clearing day. Maybe once we get our axe back. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Puppy fish. He's still diving, dude. <laughs> He's so happy. Alright. Not bad. Level 4 mining. Little glowstone ring. I'll take it. The frog makes you sad? Frog is vibing. A little, a little slippy over here. He's, he's just vibing. He's doing great. You don't need to worry about him. Star drop luck day today, but what about the the weather, though? Right, it's not raining tomorrow. Not that I could do anything about it, even if it were, because I wouldn't be able to take my cannon for an upgrade today anyway. Little green bean. I see that kale is ready down there. I think the yeah the rice is ready over there as well. Got some potatoes here too. Potatoes. Getting ready for my second breakfast. Scythe day, absolutely. Feels so nice not to, to just be able to like harvest whatever I want, whenever I want, you know? 
what is this feeling of freedom? All right, I can't buy any more seeds today. Not that I even, I mean, the only one I could realistically plant today would be more parsnips. So I think we just go ahead and accept that we're not going to be able to use up the rest of this farmland. And we'll just use our other energy more intelligently today. Boy, let me mash him, stick him in a stew. That's not where my, that's where the pond is in like other farm maps, I think. What's up with this log? What's up? What are you doing with at this log flop? <laughs> he knows something that I don't. Um, I'm gonna hold on to the un. Is the unmilled rice even like worth selling? Like the higher quality unmilled rice, or should I hold on to it for actually like making into rice with a mill later? I feel like that's probably my play here, right? The rest of this, I'm trying to think, is there a reason I'm holding on to these crops and stuff? I feel like holding on to at least like one of each of those crops is probably not the worst idea. I can probably hold on to like a few potatoes, a little bit of kale. I'm gonna sell this. Wait, the gold gold quality cauliflower. We want that. We were saving that for the luau soup. I remember that now. And we're gonna go ahead and sell the rest of this. I think. What's a mill? Never heard of it before. Probably the least built building in Stardew Valley. Most of the people who build a mill in this game are only, only building it for the aesthetics. Myself included. What about my favorite drink on milled rice juice? Don't worry, we, we still, we've got plenty of that we can make for, uh, for the future. Mmm, rice juice. You always build a mill to make sugar for the ginger ale. I think most people are just content with like buying sugar from like directly from Pierre. All right, we're going to do a little, I think I'm just going to commit like most of my energies today because we, we don't have to make it to the flower dance like immediately here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and break a bunch of rocks. <laughs> if you don't mind rock day, yo, it's rock day. Everybody get hyped for rock day. How many rocks can I break today? We're finding out. Rock emojis in chat, please. Rock emojis. We will rock you. Get these out of here as well. Gonna need the stone for something in the future. And I'm also gonna need all the space down here for, for something in the future. This is such a massive farm. This is like if the like the size of the beach farm and the and the aesthetic of like the standard farm were like mushed together into one big thing. That's what you would get with this like grandpa's farm situation we got going on here. It's like like just like this this oh this starting little plot of farmland right outside my my doorstep is so massive. Not to mention the fact that you can like hoe like the the grass and stuff too it's <laughs> i can't imagine the like insane farms that people could build with uh with this map we barely scratched the surface of of farming potential out here all right, let's clear out this path a little bit. We'll start making our way down towards the forest here. Making my way. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't realize the loading zone was quite that close. I kind of wanted to go and uh, <laughs> and mine some more stone, but all right, we're here now. We do have a rare crow to purchase. Of a flowers recipe and a rare crow. I'm willing to commit to that. That's fine. I should save some money for summer seeds, obviously, but we have we have more more strawberry harvests coming in, so not too worried about that. Ask Olivia to dance with me. I'm not. I don't have enough hearts with anybody to actually get to dance with them, so I'm just gonna get rejected by every single person. No, it's let's go, let's go around. Let's just get let's just get a taste for rejection here. I'm very sorry, but I've already agreed to dance with someone else. She lets me down easy. All right. I'll take it. 
wonder if Emily would dance with me. She's already agreed to dance with someone else, Clint. I'm sorry to tell you. I wore my best shirt for the dance. You want to you wanna dance with me, then? Excuse me. Not today. Well, I'll take a rain check, then. Well, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, Flip. Glad to see you here. Glad to see you as well. Do you want to dance? I'll be honest. I don't want to dance with you. The, the brutal honesty. I mean, I am basically a stranger to most of these people, so I so I can't really blame them that much. <laughs> frog season? Wait, what do you say about frog season? Slip? What are you doing to slip? You know what? I admit it. I really like flowers. Me too. You want to be flower kings together? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe next year. <laughs> His eyes were definitely not saying maybe next year. Ugh. I'm not, I'm not feeling good about this one, fam. No, there's someone else I want to dance with. <laughs> All right, fair enough. And she's right here, isn't she? I really hate dancing in front of anyone. It's so embarrassing. It, I mean, I'll, I'll make it easier on you, maybe. That's flattering, but I'm going to have to say no, sorry. That's how you let someone down, all right? <laughs> That's how you let someone down, take notes. It's like, well, I'm flattered, but no thank you. Not like this. Shane... Shane, we gotta work on your on your personal interactions, all right, buddy? Like, come on. You can't hit me with the dot, 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 no. <laughs> dot, 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 pants. If anyone's gonna dance with me, it would be Andy. But I don't think he's not in the mood for dancing. I didn't read his dialogue! Why did I skip his dialogue? Nothing like some ale with a leak. What are you, a far-fetched? Flowers? Hmm, I can hardly see them. You're supposed to smell them, George, not see them. How are you doing, Victor? This strawberry jello is truly remarkable. Bro, this lime jello. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, do you want to dance? Sorry, I'm not sure if I even want to dance myself. Valid. Very valid. You can go hang out with, uh, with Sophia and eat some cake in the corner. I'm gonna be, am I gonna be dancing today? I'm trying, I'm trying my best, but no one wants to dance with me. <laughs> what about you, Olivia? Gatherings such as this give me a great opportunity to talk to Caroline and Jody. And maybe me, while we're dancing? You wish to dance with me? Dear, I'm afraid I will have to decline. So polite. So formal. <laughs> I don't even feel bad about that one. You're nervous? Oh, no thanks. Respect it. I like dancing, but this one's a little stilted. The old timers really love it, though. Honestly, most of these rejections are, are much more tame than I than I remember. I'm flattered, but no. That's fine. That's totally fine. We take that in stride, like, you know, water off a duck's back. I'm working up the courage to ask someone to dance with me. Let me spare you the trouble, good sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I have plans to ask someone else. Bro, you don't have to lie to me like that. <laughs> Until you get to Haley. Spring is almost over. What a shame. Love is in the air, and I'm still single. Marlin's right here. Marnie looks really lovely today. The head cannons and fanfics are going crazy. Just enjoying the scenery. We can enjoy it together if you like. Nah, I'm gonna ask someone else. Good luck. Thanks, bro. Fist bump. I'm practicing my dance moves. It needs to be perfect. Flower queen for the past five years. And I'm not ready to step off the throne just yet. You got some competition from good old Flip here. You want to? You want to have a have a good old fashioned dance showdown? You know. All right. <laughs> We all knew that was coming. Uh, I haven't talked to... Where'd Sophia go? She's down here. I'm here for the free cake. Based. S sorry, I don't really dance. If, if, you're, if you're dancing... If we go into this cutscene and you're dancing, Sophia... So Sophia? <laughs> Sophia? I'm gonna, be a little, I'm gonna be a little heartbroken, not gonna lie to you. Hey, you should know about this stuff, Farmer. What did I do, dude? I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think that's it, huh? How I can like her baffles me? Exclamation point, Haley. Haley, and don't take her ew no statement here out of context. It's, uh, this is earlier in her character arc. <laughs> Haley will redeem herself right now. Just watch what, she, what, she, what the next words out of her mouth are going to be the greatest, kindest things you've ever heard. If Nightbot will wake up. Unexpected identifier connecting context 1-15 Haley. <laughs> See? She's so smart. She's so smart. 
She's speaking in, in code that we don't even know. She's beyond, she's transcended this mortal coil. Haley's in her programmer arc right now. I don't know what's going on with that. Nightbot's, they, I think we might have to update Nightbot here. Oh well. Alright, let's start the dance, shall we? Who's dancing? Who's dancing? Is Sophia in there? Sophia's not in there. Sophia and Vic, they're, they're all on the sidelines. Look at that. Alright, fair enough. Bro, I feel so awkward down. Normally I'm up here, and I and and this is like already semi awkward hanging out in the corner up here. Now I'm like front and center, like all by myself down here, and this somehow feels even worse. I've been watching through Bites Perfection. I just fixed this problem in the vod you watched. Time is a flat circle. Sugar Prince, indeed. Nightbot does weird things sometimes. Hopefully those th those are the only commands that are broken. <laughs> that was fun. Time to that was fun getting rejected like eight, ten times, however however much that was. Alright. A little rare crow action. I'll just pop a pop a rare crow right down here just so just so it's out and about. Probably not gonna stay there, but uh it'll be useful for the future here. Okay. I'm gonna go into ch into town actually real quick. I just want to double check birthdays and stuff. On double check birthdays and who knows? Maybe there's like a help help wanted quest out here. That's why you love Haley for her unexpected identifiers. Okay, it's just Pierre and Emily coming up. Good to know. Emily is very easy to give a gift to. We, we can basically give her, like, any gem. Pierre? I don't know. I can give him some of my driftwood that I fished up the other day. I guess I could give Pierre the four-leaf clover, but I don't know if I'm willing to commit my only four-leaf clover to Pierre. Seems like quite the, uh... Se seems like a special occasion. I gotta save that for, for the right time. Not bad, not bad. Are we due for a strawberry harvest today? I feel like we are. Any spare parsnips? We do have some parsnips, yeah, actually. Does Pierre like parsnips? Your steel axe is ready! Alright, I'm excited to see what we might be able to find with this steel axe now. Um, let's see, weather report? It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. Watering can moment? That, that could be our incentive to upgrade the watering can. Hello? I was checking... I was checking your shipping bin. Uh-oh. Wait, what did I put in my shipping bin? Why did the music cut off? Why is this so ominous, dude? At least he's wearing... He's got He's got a smile on. Pierre and Sophia had a large number of products to ship this morning. Flip, I'm very happy you're getting situated here in Stardew Valley. And you're making great progress on Sandal Farm. Thank you. Appreciate you checking in, sir. I need to walk over to Fairhaven Farm and check if Andy is shipping anything. He usually has high-quality forage from Cindersap Forest. Must be convenient to be able to forage in your backyard. Yes, sir. I'll leave you to your farm work. Thank you. He was just being neighborly. I love that. I actually do kind of love that, yeah. Honestly, I feel like Vanilla Stardew could, could use more interactions like that, of people just, like, showing up, being neighborly like that. I don't, like, I don't know what necessarily triggered that, but, but, but I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy Lewis showed up just to say hi, basically. That was pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna ship all these strawberries. Get shipped. It literally just came around to gossip. I mean, he said he was around to, to take things out of my shipping bin, but I already got the money from the stuff I shipped last night, so... I don't know. Lewis is, as the kids say, sus. Save some for Maru. We'll still get... Wait, do we get one more... Do we get one more strawberry harvest? Or are we done? I think we might be done, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. We could save some for Maru. I'm trying to think. Is it three-day regrow or four-day regrow? I want to say it's a four-day regrow. I'm going to keep watering just in case.
it is for it is a four day regrow. So there's so there's no point in really watering the rest of these uh, the strawberries for now. Can't leave a job unfinished here though. Four days, shoot. Okay, so that's gonna be our last strawberry harvest then. Um, I could save some for Maru or for like other gifts in the future, but honestly, they're probably better served as money right now. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and and let that be. Let's see. Um, trying to think what I need to do today. I need to go pick up my steel axe, and I guess we send our watering can in for an upgrade. We've got the money and and everything to make that happen, so I think that's fine. And it's going to be raining tomorrow, so that covers our watering needs. Now that we're going to have that many watering needs anyway, once we don't, have, now that we don't have to worry about the strawberries anymore. And uh, once we have our steel axe, I guess I can go explore the forest. Someone was saying that there's there's extra stuff in like the secret woods to to explore. Yo, I didn't even realize. Claire, you weren't at the uh, flower dance. I guess you live out of town, so that's fair. I can't say I know too much about Pelican Town. Sorry, I should be going. I get the yeah, I, sh I sh could shouldn't keep you from work. You don't gotta hit me with a dot 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 though. Claire is edging away from you. <laughs> what? The I mean, she did say that she had to be going, and I just kind of kept talking. That's probably on me. I went shopping last night and picked up a fresh strawberry on sale for only 150 gold. It was despicable. You don't know. You don't know what good strawberries are. Get out of my face, Shane. I'd like to put an iron bar on my shelf. Please deliver it sometime today. I can do that. Shane wouldn't know a good strawberry if I put it in a slingshot and slung it upside his head. Give Dusty many pets to feel better. Jojo wouldn't give her the day off. No one was even shopping at Joja. Everyone was at the flower dance all day. They, they could, they should have set up a, a booth like Pierre or something like that. Steel axe acquired. It's always so underwhelming how like the steel, the steel tools look so similar to just like the basic tools. It looks like you haven't even done any upgrades sometimes. All right, copper watering can, take it. He got scammed. It was grown by Pierre. All right, that makes me feel a little better. Okay. Got that. And uh, let's go have a look. Let's go. Let's go have a look in the forest and see what's what with our new fangled steel axe here. This is what we need in order to enter the secret woods. I know. I've got this like daffodil burning a hole in my pocket. So Sophia, do I know what Sophia likes as far as like gifts and stuff go? I haven't given any her any I literally haven't given her any gifts at all. Alright. Uh yeah, I mean she's got flowers out front. You're sweet, thanks. That seemed like a neutral response to me. I don't feel so good today. Dot dot dot. Alright, I'll leave you to it then. No 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 problem. She loves puppy fish. I should have known. They are super kawaii. Sophia is really hard to gift. We got, we got, we can save, we can save a puppy fish or something for her birthday. I don't know when her birthday is. Um, 27th of winter. All right, we got a ways to go for that one. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait a little while before we can, can, or even worrying about that. Probably have more options at our disposal by the time that rolls around. She likes flowers. I gave her a daffodil. Can you not? Is that okay? That definitely looks like I should be able to go around that way. But all right, I'll I'll take the long way around. I I can take a hint. Maybe there was a stone stone actually, and I just couldn't see it. Like hidden by the uh, by the tall grass or something like that. Grown flowers, not wild flowers. So picky. There we go. All right. What secrets does the do the woods harbor? Ooh. All right. 
already looking looking dramatically different. Looking very different. Oh, yo, this is so nice down here. I don't have a weapon for these slimes. I probably should have <laughs> brought something. I guess I can scythe them just to keep them off of me. Okay. We go we're we're exploring. This dude, there's a whole there's a whole side quest down here. What the heck? Wait, what is this? These bushes grow red bane berries during the summer. Man, flip, flip rolled a nat 20 on his nature check right there. I, I, I wouldn't have known that. All right, we'll come back here during the summer, I guess. Red bane berries during the summer. Okay. Is this where I got, come to get all the, like, the respect? Like, there was that one recipe that called for, like, bear berries. Maybe there's a bear berry bush somewhere around here. Also, holy, I'm going to die. <laughs> Why are these slimes so strong, man? Maybe it's just because I'm so weak. He died in the secret woods once. I've never died in the vanilla secret woods, but I can I can see myself dying down here. Hello? Wait, is is this is this like the like West Woods, or is this a totally different new area? I feel like this is probably just the West Woods, aka the Deep Woods. If there's, like, a little, like, abandoned vineyard situation going on over here. Okay, yeah, no, so this is just, that's just a new entrance to that area. Check the map. Good call, actually. We're off the map. We're off the grid, everybody. <laughs> <coughs> oh, gosh. We're in no man's land. Pardon me for the, uh, for the cough there. Okay, let's, let's keep exploring around here. I can get more hardwood. I can get some hardwood while I'm here, I guess. Those stumps don't normally take that many hits with the steel axe, do they? Maybe it's just been too long. Okay, what on earth is that? <laughs> I'm scared. That looks like a corpse flower. What is this? Rafflesia? Expels a, fla a foul odor that attracts insects. What do I do with this? <laughs> what in the world? I can't eat it. There's there's no information. That's Rafflesia, aka corpse flower. I think I think that's like the official unofficial name. Wait, so okay, this is this is my farm, right? Oh, wait, didn't we see this, like, towards the start of the game, where there was, like, this area to try and get through? There's, like, an area behind the waterfall that we couldn't get to before because we couldn't get to this side of the river. Maybe now we can actually, like, explore a bit more of our farm here. Get this out of the way. It's, it's pronounced raffle see ya. Okay. Well that's our well that's our greenhouse over there. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. There were these logs here. This is why we couldn't get through before. That's right, that's right. I mean I'm gonna try and sell the Rafflesias, which is how I'm gonna pronounce it, because it just feels right to me, even if it's wrong. I think this might be a Leia situation. I need I need a st oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> Wait, no, you can't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Oh man. Your pickaxe isn't strong enough. We need not only is a steel pickaxe, we need a gold pickaxe to get through here for that meteorite. That's that there must be something good up there. Holy. I don't even know. Okay, I can head over here though, at least. I can make my way behind the waterfall. What is that? It's like a whole little shed up there. Grandpa's surprise funhouse. Flip, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Like, I knew that already. I guess I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. I was kind of hoping for more, though. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Got blocked. The greenhouse over there. I guess I can unlock the path to the greenhouse here. Not that I need to, obviously, but... 
Yo, we're so rich in hardwood already. <laughs> We've already got over 50 hardwood on our first day with our steel axe. That's kind of that's kind of nutty. Get through here and just see if there's see if there's anything else meandering about. Doesn't seem likely. This just seems like a nice little secluded area for the greenhouse here. Definitely a situation where you would want to move the greenhouse with uh, with Robin as soon as you can, because heading all this way for the greenhouse is probably not a sustainable practice. Okay. Time for wood chippers, honestly, right? Although I'm just remembering now, you can't actually buy wood chippers until, like, winter of the first year, can you? All right, let's go back to the secret woods, see if there are any other secrets within these woods. It's living up to the name now, for sure. I see another Rafflesia down there. More waterfalls and stuff here. Okay. There's some ruins. There's a ladder over there. Honestly, this is giving me, like... For, for the little portion of it that I played, this is giving me, like, Harvest Moon vibes right now. I don't know what's going on here, but... um. Okay. I, is there a purpose to going through that labyrinthine pillar section over there? I mean, I've got time in my day. I can still... I can commit to this here. As long as the slimes don't get on my case too much, I guess. It's down this way. Excuse me? Just a rare seed chilling down here? Just a just a casual little rare seed. Did someone drop this? All right, I should probably consume food. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take I'll take that. We can't grow it until fall, but rare seed. And yeah, we don't want to we don't want to die and lose our rare seed out here. That's for darn sure. This never happened to you in Stardew Expanded? Wait, is wait, is that actually is that rare? Is that not supposed to be there? <laughs> who needs the rare who needs the the cart dude? So in fall takes all season to grow. How do I navigate this? Okay, I I can I can I can navigate a maze. Alright, we're good. We're good. Old Master Cannoli. Still searching for the sweetest taste. It's rare by design. It is in the name, I suppose. This this definitely feels like there's there's more to this than meets the eye. There's something there's 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 more to discover down here somewhere. I just know it. This area up here. It's just like wraps around. Let's go anywhere? No. I'm, I'm checking all these like little nooks and crannies. I feel like there's like something going to be hidden in, in the trees somewhere around here. I'm just loving exploring right now, honestly. These slimes are really grinding my gears right now. That's the only thing. I need to come back here. I, wait, there's an artifact spot there? Hello? Hold on, I'm going to wrap around for that. Try and avoid some of the slimes. Just, a, just a, the sneakiest piece of clay I ever did see. Yeah, I need to come back here with a weapon for sure, so I can actually defend myself properly. Are we on the farm or the secret woods? That was on the... that was in the secret woods. Might not be able to get to certain spots until we have stronger tools. That's what it seems like. It seems like I definitely need to upgrade my tools before before too long. So maybe we prioritize getting like a... I don't know if we go all the way for a gold pickaxe to, to get through that meteor or not. But, uh, but at least the steel pickaxe is probably a smart move here. You love the expanded secret woods? I'm, I'm, it was a good vibe down there. I don't know if there's anything more to discover beyond what I've already saw, seen down there, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Okay. I'm going to sell the Rafflesia just to see how much it sells for. Morel, don't I need you for, I need it for the exotic foraging bundle. 
And I do need some hardwood, actually, for the uh, construction bundle. We can actually probably probably complete the construction bundle um, pretty soon here. I do. I need to chop more wood, but that's that's very doable. How much stone do I have? I definitely have enough stone to do it. Okay, yeah. So we can complete the construct. We can try and con complete the construction bundle tomorrow. Tomasino, hello, hello. You can't tell when we hit the farm and when we were in the woods. There, there is a loading zone in between them. That's basically the most. Uh, <laughs> that's the most telling uh, display of when we switch between the two of them. But if you're if you're not looking at the right time, it can be it can be disorienting for sure. I imagine. Okay. Um, tomorrow's gonna be raining, so we don't. Yeah, but that's why we sent our watering can in. Bring the fishing pole next time. Ooh, oh snap, two thousand. Given some spoiler, non spoilers, just some just some tips. Like, hey, maybe bring your bring your fishing rod next time. Those are those are the. Oop. Oh gosh, sorry. I just totally bumped my headset off my head for a second. Apologies. Those are the kind of those are the kind of gameplay tips we appreciate around here. Thank you. Okay. I think we're ready for bed here. Yeah. Level five farming. That's a big one. All right. Is it still the play to go artisan? <laughs> Don't forget to hydrate. Thank you, Jera. Thank you. Artisan is still the play. Okay. Don't have any animals and I can change it later. True enough. Yeah. All right. We'll go tiller then. Unfortunately, it doesn't apply today, but <laughs> maybe I should have paid more attention to that and sold my strawberries the next day. Oh, well, that's fine. Raflesia. Sells for e just the base quality ones sell for 375 gold. That's kind of incredible. <laughs> that is a that is a good forge to be on the lookout for. Wow. All right. Um, is that is that might be Secret Woods exclusive? They had to be worth a decent chunk. They seemed like so like uh, that you couldn't eat them. There's pro they're probably maybe used in like a crafting recipe somewhere down the line. I don't know. I don't know what else you would use them for, but I also can't imagine that they're a particularly good gift for anybody. Maybe for like maybe it's the one flower that Sebastian would like. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, it's raining today. It is a horrible luck day. Is that my cue to go fishing today, potentially? Potentially. I think I am going to go fishing today, actually. I'm going to bring... I'll bring the forest sword. I, it's not the most powerful weapon I have, but it should hopefully do for the secret woods. Um, I'll bring... I don't really need the, the scythe if I'm bringing that. I'll bring everything else here just to be on the safe side, and then we'll go do a little bit of fishing, shall we? Is there no music on purpose? We're do going with in-game music during Stardew Expanded because uh, I want to sort of let the mod shine as best it can, and and that includes like letting the music play at the moments that the mod creators want to play. So so yeah, no music for right now. Just got to enjoy the lovely ambience of the rain. What do we got here? I love your portrait. I, 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 I forgot about that entirely, honestly. <laughs> Crocus wood floor, rare seed for a thousand gold. I just, I just find those lying on the ground. Caviar, beet. Oh, you know what? I seeing that wood on sale of all things. That does, that does remind me. I should go. I think before I go fishing, I'm gonna go complete the construction bundle here. We only need to get what like. I mean, it, it might take a little bit of doing actually. Now I'm thinking about it because we need to get. 198 wood, is that right? 198 wood. We have everything else, though. So we can we can definitely kind of kill two birds with one stone here. Chop down some trees and get that bundle done. She's definitely fleecing me. Yeah, she, she just picked up that rare seed off the ground on her way in. She's like, oh, this will probably sell for a pretty penny. <laughs> Cha-ching! Cha-ching! 
Not gonna lie, I was kind of surprised at how fast these trees were coming down, and then I remembered, oh yeah, I have a steel axe. That's not only for, you know, that's not only good for breaking those uh, logs and those stumps. It's good for, for just regular trees, too. Price Perfection Chloe would be so jealous of that rare seed find. Stardew expanded Price Perfection when? Probably not anytime soon is, is going to be the answer to that one. <laughs> uh, Alright, a little stone. I guess I should chop some trees up north here, maybe? Yeah, I chop like some of these trees. I could use some, I could use some pine cones for more field snack potential. I mean, I would be curious if, if I if I did gain a more in-depth knowledge of the of Stardew Expanded and all its many requirements and and sort of start storing that in my brain. I could see myself doing a Price of Perfection challenge in Stardew Expanded in the in the future. Probably not until, like, after 1.6 drops and stuff, but... What's the next tool upgrade? Right now we have the copper watering can on the way. After that, I think we start working towards the steel pickaxe. Actually, we could afford... We could... Well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to commit the $5,000 to the steel pickaxe with summer right around the corner here. I probably want to save my money for seeds, first and foremost. Get some seeds. I should also, uh, before before summer drops, I should get some more resources for sprinklers, right? So we have, we don't have the quality sprinkler recipe yet, but we do have the basic sprinkler recipe. We could definitely do some basic sprinklerizing. And get things ready for, for then. So maybe we do that tomorrow. We go and get some more resources for those. And just get as many basic sprinklers as I can. And then and then set up the fields nice and purdy for, uh, for summer. You can buy sprinklers from Sophia. But I don't have the, the liquid capital in order to, to make that worthwhile right now. I still think like, like 600 gold for a basic sprinkler is not terrible. But I still think it's worth using like copper and iron to to make to make them for right now until I have more of a sustainable money making system here. Give me all these field snacks, yummy. In fact, you know what? I'll drop off the salmon berries for right now, and we'll just use field snacks for the time being. Okay. Um, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do this and this. And this, and go complete a bundle. Ember Firebender, welcome on in. Good to see you. Iridium Scythe in the big chest, so the highlights so far for you, or for, for one point six. I'm I don't even know what what uh what the highlight is gonna be for me ultimately in one point six. Oh, it's Pierre's birthday today. Um um um. Okay, I can go grab something for Pierre. Someone was saying a parsnip, maybe. I can get. I can give him a parsnip. I think I got a couple to spare. I'm definitely looking forward to a lot of features in 1.6. Honestly, the thing that my brain keeps coming back to, to, in the in the sleep sleepless nights where I'm tossing and turning. And, w and waiting for the day that I wake up and see that 1.6 has been officially announced with a release date and everything. The one thing that my brain lingers on is that stupid little, like, purple warp totem guy <laughs> in, in, like, the first 1.6 teaser image. The little, like, cheeky, happy, like, lilac warp totem. I'm so... I, I just need to know what that does. I really need to know what that does. Happy birthday, buddy. Seemed like a luck totem to you? It I don't know, just like the design of it, the design, the coloration, makes me feel like it's it's something more than that. Like I feel like it's gonna have a grander purpose beyond what any of us are comprehending right now. It seems like the linchpin to 
some greater facet of version 1.6. I don't want to get my hopes up too too high and expect that it's going to be like it's going to warp us to a secret island somewhere far in the Ferngill Republic or like maybe warp us to like the the Gatoro Empire or something like that. Probably not, but but I want to I I I want I I want to dare to dream. <laughs> a warp to never mind we don't know if it's a warp totem we don't know if it's a warp totem it just it doesn't have a name it we all we have is like the sprite of it right so it could be some other type type of totem in line with like the the rain totem definitely doesn't look like a sun totem even though that would be that would be appreciated if it were chip damn four by the way is kind of a nice get charcoal kiln i'll take it this unlocks the vault bundles, right? Yeah, because you already had bulletin board. Maybe it's just decorative. I would uninstall Sardew Valley if it was just decorative. I would never forgive Concern Date for getting my hopes up so high. Warps your credit card directly to Concern Date's P.O. box. This is not that kind of guy. At least I hope not. Sorry, I just wanted to double. I wanted to double check what kind of bundles we have to have to worry about here. We need some milk and some eggs for that one. Okay, okay. There's. I can grow sunflowers, red cabbage. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. All right. Just get wrapping my brain around things here. Nightbot is a little confused today. Museum Station Danny, hello, by the way. Hello, hello. Can't believe Sam actually took Mayor Luce's advice and he's and he's practicing his skateboarding elsewhere. Practicing it in a nice in a nice safe secluded zone of the town there. In the, in the middle of a rainstorm, maybe not <laughs> not what you want to be doing, but but go off, King. You'd love to see more Gunther dialogue. I would be very happy if we got any kind of, like, NPC expansions beyond, uh, like, the, the winter outfits that we're going to get in 1.6. I would be, I would be ex all, all in for that, for sure. I played so much vanilla Stardew, and I and I love the characters to bits, and I just want to, I want some more life breathed in, breathed into them. There's they already go above and beyond what a lot of games in this genre do, but if you've played like two thousand hours of it, you start to get used to you get to, start to get used to their trappings, and you're and you're ready for something new, which is definitely on me for playing so much of this game. <laughs> but what can I say? It's a good time. Okay, let's go and try and do some fishing in the secret woods. Not that much time left in the day. Well, there's, a, there's still a decent amount of time left in the day, I guess, but... We'll see if there's anything beyond just the wood skip and a, and a carp now. I have to imagine there is. There's, like, that whole big, like, waterfall area. It, it's It's got so much extra panache on it compared to the regular secret woods. There's bound to be something here. Plus, I was I was hinted at. Sir and Dave said he's adding over 100 li lines of dialogue. That is true, and I hope that's just not in line with, like, potential... Like, like the new festival and stuff, potentially. I hope that's, like, 100-plus lines of dialogue outside of, like, festival dialogue. We shall see, though. We shall see. Okay. This feels like it could, could just be a wood skip, but it might be a new fish as well. That's a wood skip. All right, that's fine. Iridium quality wood skip, no less. Definitely don't need the rice shoots right now, but the geodes are appreciated. That seems like a carp, probably. Secret woods aren't wowing me too much right now. The catfish should be available here if it lines up with vanilla because it is raining today. 
Are there other places to fish in the secret woods other than this pond? There might actually be. I think there was another... There was another, um... Hello? Wall basket's still here. Wall basket's still alive and kicking. Still realizing stuff about the hidden depths of these characters 2,000 hours later. That is, the, that is, I mean, the magical thing about Stardew is there's still stuff to discover even, even 2,000 hours in. Catfish acquired. Nothing too out of the norm so far. There's a special stream in the woods to the south. We've been to that stream, and I've done a little bit of fishing there, but I haven't found anything new just yet. Maybe I just haven't fished for long enough, or don't have a high enough fishing level or something like that, but uh, I didn't find anything new while I was down there the first time. Either way, this is not a bad place to, to fish today. I imagine the wood skip is worth, like, a decent amount of money. And any catfish we get are definitely going to be worth something, so... So as far as, like, at least making some extra money here goes, it's not a bad place to be either. To be honest, though, I'm probably just going to eat the carp for energy. <laughs> it's not even worth... It's more worth it for the energy than it is for for money. There is a new fish, you believe, but you don't know if I can catch it. Is that you don't know if I can catch it because you don't know if I have the skills to catch it? Or because uh, it's just out of season? <laughs> I have to, I, I don't know how to take those words just yet. If you're, if you're drop, if you're throwing down the gauntlet as a challenge, boy, do I have a 90 minute video to show you. But. <laughs> Another wall basket. We don't have enough room uh, enough room in our tiny house for two wall baskets. When people, people say that in chat, they mean you might might not be the right level. That's kind of what I'm what I'm gathering. Yeah, they might not. They're not like you're not you. You don't have the the hood spa. You don't have the cojones to stick around and and actually catch the fish. And then I lost that fish. I was too focused on what other new fish might be around here still. I can definitely catch it right now. You think I just missed it? Yeah, I mean, if we got time left in spring, we can definitely head down and, uh, and see. Another catfish. Don't mind if I do. Well, this might not be a catfish. Maybe this is something else. Maybe this is a, like a, like a, like a difficult, rarer fish. I want to get my, don't want to get my hopes up too much. It's definitely giving off catfish energy right now. But I would be I would love to be pleasantly surprised. Don't do this to me. Don't do just 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 show me the fish. Show me the fish. Show me the goods. What the heck is that? It's a grass carp! <laughs> a large herbivorous fish that lives that prefers deep forest lakes and abundant vegetation. He's a big he's a little grassy boy. Look at that guy. <laughs> he seems like he's like a fish out of like a studio Ghibli movie. Grass carp. Look at that guy. Give me more grass carp. I'm kinda curious to see how much that sells for, to be honest with you. Maniac Party, welcome on in. I'm glad you enjoyed the, the fishing, all fish in one day video. And you're here now for a live stream where we're fishing even more. <laughs> As is the way. Glad to have you here. They're real fish and they're huge. The grass carp is real. My therapist, the grass carp isn't real. The grass carp can't hurt you. Meanwhile, the grass carp. I did find the fish. Is it the only grass carp that there is? I mean, I want to. I want to catch more grass carp because I would. I wouldn't mind holding on to one, but I also want to like sell at least one to see how much they're worth.
Ganpan140, first stream as well. Welcome on in. We tend to get a lot of people who show up for, like, their the first stream on the channel during these Stardew Expanded streams. If that if that describes you, if this is your first time dropping in to see a live stream, welcome on in. You're amongst good company. We do lots of fun Stardew-related content around here. This is honestly, like, just exploring Stardew Expanded with no, zero stipulations is definitely more of a casual vibe than we than we typically have at least gameplay wise just you know commentary wise and and whatnot it's usually about the same but, but the randomizer and all that stuff sort of thing is made of made of different stuff this feels this feels more like a catfish I think the grass carp was notably harder than a catfish yeah that's a catfish okay like catfish is hard grass carp was was another level right there. I can't believe that's a real fish, the grass carp. I definitely thought that was just something that they made up as like a scorpion carp for the secret woods, more or less. The image of the grass carp scares you. They look like a regular fish, they're just big. I think that was probably a grass carp right there. Are they like those like the the one fish that always freaks me out when I anytime I like think about it is like the what is it called like a ras like a w r a s s e or something it's got like a weird like it's got like a weird like forehead thing and it kind of, it always looks like it's like scowling at you is that anyone know what I'm talking about here All right, one more grass carp for the road, please. I would love I would love to come home with two grass carps to my name. I think this actually might be might be one here. Definitely feels like it could be. Yeah, yeah, it's dancing. We're we're doing the dance in the pale rain light. Hold on a minute. Hold on. This is definitely- it's harder than a catfish, or it's just a very jumpy catfish. It's just a very jumpy catfish. Who knew? The <laughs> grass carp just has a face full of wonder. Dude, why do fish have, like, the best faces in nature of all time? Ooh! Another diamond for the road. All right, I'm gonna. We have it's it's a little ways to get home. It's it's not as far as like as the mines or anything like that, but we don't want to stay out here too late. Have a good one there for the jokes. Thanks for hanging out. I don't even know if the grass carp is still available. Honestly, it could be something that's only available earlier in the day. Is there a wiki for expanded? I believe so. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, don't. Don't give up now. Don't give up. Don't give up. No. Okay, fine. Watch my... Gotta watch my energy here. I don't need three wall baskets. <laughs> okay, um... Do I... I can... I can... I can send one more here. Raskarp should be available all day. Thank you. Thank you, Dancer Chick. Last chance. That's just a regular carp, dude. This carp shed all its grass. Alright, we'll head home now. I'm torn, because now I only have one grass carp. I should go up this way, I think it's probably faster. I only have one grass carp, so I don't know if I should use it, if I should hold on to it, or if I should sell it and see how much it's worth. Like, maybe it's available. It's It probably is available, like, year-round, right? They base sell for 350 gold. Okay. It might be worth holding on to instead, then. I mean, 350 is no slouch, but... I got a diamond for 750 right here. I will sell... I'm gonna sell the wood skips. And the catfishes. And you know what? I'll even sell the carp. 
What am I ever gonna need to keep one for? Maybe it has like a like a really cool fish pond or something like that. I can probably always go and get another one, but we'll hold on to it for the time being, because if I if I change my mind, I can always sell it later, right? Not the end of the world. Not worth keeping, not nor special. Fish catalog tells me. Does it tell me before I've sold one? Hold on a second. Grass, carp, 350. You are right, it does tell you. Puppy fish sells for 280, 255, 2, 225 or 255? 225. Bro, what is that? That's like the lava eel, but it's wearing a cape. Alright, it's the super lava eel. Yeah, we got we got lots of new fish to work through. I'm, I'm we're, we barely scratched the surface of of new potential fish here. All right, wall basket, wall basket. Hold on, I'm gonna have to move some stuff here. Wall basket, and I don't think I have enough room for the last wall basket if I want to leave the pitchfork and stuff out. So, so this can just go in here for right now. Well, yeah, that can actually go in there too. That's fine, but. Okay. All right. Uh, today, tomorrow is Annalie's birthday. Okay. Grass carp pond makes grass starters. Ooh, that could actually be kind of useful. It's probably more worth it just to just to buy them, I guess. But all right, level five foraging. Do we go forester or gatherer here? More wood is never a bad thing to have, but I feel like I've gone forester into lumberjack a lot in the a lot in the recent past. I don't think we've given the gatherer the gatherer profession much love these days, so we're gonna go gatherer this time. Pretty decent day of fishing there. All right, the copper watering can is ready. We'll go pick that. Pick that up first thing, basically. Still a really bad luck day. We could... I'm, I'm probably going to go to the mines, not to go any any deeper. Thanks, Mom. Not to go any deeper today, but just to gather more resources. We have 11 copper bars. I'm Actually, I'm going to bring all this with me. I'm going to bring all these resources that I might need for, like, smelting and stuff. I can donate this when I go down to Clint's. Anything else I need to donate here? Doesn't look like it. I can. I guess I can bring these to Clint's. I can bring my geodes to Clint's and open. Um. You know what? I'm gonna bring this ancient sword up with me as well because I. I was told that this is a good gift for Marlin, right? So I think we're gonna go ahead and. I mean, I'm heading up to the mines anyway. I might as well see if I can give that to him. You don't think you've ever tried Forester? Forester is really fun. I think. I think both paths in the uh, in the foraging professions are. Are worthwhile, unless you go, unless you ultimately go like tapper or something. That's probably not the play. But yeah, I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna leave the geodes for right now. To be honest, anything else I can take to bundles or anything today? Probably not. Boiler room. We're just waiting on the fire quartz there. Um, do I have the refined quartz to do that? I mean, I definitely don't have the Iridium Ore. A little low on that. Okay, I could smelt some, I guess, but... Uh, grab that. Just sell the green bean. Having all the forge be automatically Iridium quality is pretty priceless. It's, it's like one of the best professions you could go for, probably, yeah. Both, both for, like, conserving inventory space, because they all stack in the same spot, and the stack that you're making is the most profitable stack that it could possibly be. It's, uh, and Iridium Truffles, too. Iridium Truffles is, is a pretty, pretty big reason to go for it as well, yeah. Alright, let's just pop into town here. We'll do, do just a little running around while we wait for Clint to open up. Grab our watering can. Bring it home, we'll water what we need to, which isn't that much, honestly, because we don't need to worry about the strawberries. Oh, I should have brought a gift for Emily as well. Um, 
Howdy, neighbors. I want to try make. I want to try giving my cows eel to increase their milk production. If you could find me one, could you swing it by for me, Marnie. Um, how do I tell you this without sounding incredibly rude? Um, don't believe everything you hear online. Okay, I I don't think giving your cows eel is the right solution i don't care what you what you learned from you know new farmers of of ferngildforum.com or whatever I, I, I don't know about that one i'll accept your quest mostly because i don't know if it's raining tomorrow but that doesn't seem uh doesn't seem like it's the right thing to be doing Five minute crafts with animal tips with Marnie. Also, I didn't even mention this. Question mark, period. That's honestly the most egregious thing about this entire quest right here. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, so for Emily, I guess I'll bring in a second to Aquamarine, because like why not? Why do I find that so irritating? Question mark, period. There's, there's never... Is, is there ever a, a case to have multiple punctuation marks one after the other where it's grammatically correct to do so? There probably is, but I can't think of one. So it always just hurts my brain to look at. I give Dusty many pets. Naturally, as you do. The Interrobang. Well, the Interrobang doesn't it's it's like the ellipsis where it counts as uh where it counts as like one punctuation mark, right? Oh, I guess ellipsis into like question mark can be can be valid sometimes. That's fair. Yeah, ellipsis and interrobang, I would classify as their own distinct punctu punctuation marks. I wouldn't classify them as, hello, Clint. Never seen you walking. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Clint, I, Joe. Make a copper watering can, please, sir. There's upside down question mark and exclamation point. That's in, that's more Spanish, right? Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Don't we all? We all we all wonder how Clint ended up in this town from time to time. All right, let's go give this aqua. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to meet Emily right now. Do I have how many hearts do I have with Emily? I wanted to say I had like. A, f a few, but clearly not enough. Okay, we might have to come back. Actually, I mean, Emily works at the saloon, so we can always catch her later at night. So we don't have to give her a birthday present necessarily right now. I will go water my crops, and then head off to the mines, I suppose. Too much punctuation. Or if your legal name was a period and someone was like, can I ask a favor of you? I don't know. Is it's if I feel like it shouldn't be legal in in most places to just name a child after a punctuation mark. I don't know if that's a hot take or not, but it's definitely definitely my take. <laughs> okay. Everything else here is strawberries, right? So we don't need to worry about watering that. Drop that off. Don't need the steel axe right now. I will bring everything else, though. And a woof to you, Flop. And a woof to you. There's a kid called La-A. La-A. That seems like a perfectly fine name. Not not one from a culture that I'm that I'm used to, I don't think. That I'm familiar with, but I could I could it's not it's not one that I immediately raise an eyebrow at. 
There there are some some extremely strange names out there. There's seven recorded children in the US named hashtag. Like the word hashtag or the symbol hashtag? If it's the symbol hashtag, that is that is upsetting for sure. If it's the word hashtag, it's still upsetting, but less so, because at least it's a word. Needs to be some government intervention. I think there is in a lot of cases. I think I think many countries have like rules as to what you can name your child. Maybe not the most like maybe not as strict of rules as they should be in some cases, but but I think I think you can't give your child an absolutely like horrendous nickname without uh, <laughs> without some con some consultation. Hmm, that will be a hard pass. My apologies. Someone told me to kill. Hold on to these for you. Oh, Chad, I was trolled. I was trolled. I thought that was going to be a good gift. Didn't Elon Musk name his kid something I can't even pronounce? Yes, that is true. <laughs> and this is exactly why we should probably make things a little bit more strict. Not, like, overly strict. You still want people to have creative freedom, but, you know... I, f I feel like when it comes to naming children, there should be a... You should have to pass a common sense check, right? Like, if you come up with a name like like that, like like the like the name for Elon Musk's child, that is like you look at it and you don't and you can't even like physically really pronounce it because like what is that? I feel like it should not pass in a court of law. I feel I feel like you have to pass the vibe check. It doesn't necessarily need to be a legal check, it just needs to be a vibe check. Cuz if it's a, if it, if you have to make laws around it, it's just going to take too long and there's going to be so much red tape. It, it just has to be a vibe check at the end of the day. But it has to be a legal vibe check. Vibe check. Okay. I'm going to smelt this copper ore. So that we're going to have 16 copper bars. I would love to get 16 iron bars to match that. That way we can have 16 furnaces. Plus, or not furnaces, sprinklers. Plus that one quality sprinkler that we already have. So we'll see if I can... I can make that happen here. I'm just gonna bring the broken trident, honestly. My dagger main. It rather makes the idea of a name irrelevant. Honestly, yeah, that's like a name needs to be something that you can that is that is relatively easy to say and remember and and that identifies you, like, in a... <laughs> I don't know, it's... There's... I'm not... I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole of, of naming conventions and all that, but... Because I just frankly don't know enough to... To determine what is and is not an appropriate name all the time. But some of them just definitely don't pass the vibe check. Early broken trident, indeed. We got one, we actually got, I don't remember when we got the broken trident, but we got it relatively early on here. So I'm mostly just looking for copper, right? Or not copper, but iron right now. In fact, I should keep the coal on me so I can just smelt iron as I go here, I think. Welcome back, Sarah. We are currently mining le, le iron ore in the pursuit of more iron ore. <laughs> in the pursuit of sprinklers. Krobus doesn't go to the movies on Fridays. That is interesting that he that he would decline to go to the movies on Fridays. It does make sense with his character how he does he stays silent as a sign devotion to Yoba, so you can't. You can't ask him and receive a response. I guess he could, like, nod. It's probably best just to leave Krobus to his own devices on Fridays. You know, I think I'm going to bring down my scythe with me, just because it's a nice tool to have 
to break open like crates and barrels and stuff. The dagger is a little a little more finicky to do that with. I always feel more comfortable doing it with a scythe. Is is perfection in Stardew Expanded the same? I think it's probably the same, like, basic requirements and stuff. Like, you know, craft everything, cook everything, catch every fish. It's just that there's more of those things to do. Maybe there's extra stipulations that I'm not that I'm not wary of, or that I'm not aware of, but I can't imagine they would change it that much. They didn't change the community center at all. I imagine perfection is mostly left untouched as well. How expanded is Ginger Island? That's a good question, honestly. I do not rightly know. That's why I'm, I'm excited to discover it along with, uh, with many of you who are discovering this for the first time alongside me. I feel like a lot of people in, in our community have not, don't, don't dive much into, into the modded side of Stardew at all based on what I've seen. Based on what I've, like, heard from people in chat and stuff, so... So I think this is this is new territory for a lot of us. Which is exciting. It's exciting like that's that's like the, the beautiful thing about modding is being able to breathe new life into a game that you've put that you that you know so well, right? That's what the best mods will will be able to do is to make you like appreciate the game all over again like it's a brand new experience which so far expanded is doing doing pretty well to recapture that feeling i'm not gonna lie it took me a little bit of doing to to get into the expanded mindset but i'm, I'm definitely starting to get there i'm starting to appreciate it on its own merits and not like trying to like you know min max things or optimize things as as i might as i'm kind of inclined to do in the vanilla, ex the vanilla experience where I kind of know how everything works and I know what's up and there's nothing left to surprise me much anymore. Just letting, just letting, you know, the waves of Stardew Valley expanded and its many intricacies and facets. Holy moly, that's a lot of iron. Letting it wash over me and guide me wherever the wind decides to blow is, is a refreshing experience for sure. I'm not optimizing yet. We all, I always get there in the end. We always get there in the end, one way or another. Not necessarily min-max, but fun-max. I'm not entirely sure how to fun-max in, in Stardew Expanded yet, so for now I'm just... I'm just... having fun. <laughs> I was trying to think of a, of a cute, quirky way to say it, but, you know, it really just boils down to... We're just, we're just having, a, having a gay old time out here. Okay, we're up to... We've got at least a, a decent amount of smelting here. Probably not quite enough to match our iron ore yet, so or our copper bars yet. So we'll run it back. Have a good one there, Shanta Jen. Thank you for hanging out. You got perfection for the first time a few months ago, and then you were like, dang, what now? And you immediately downloaded Expanded and started over. See, that's, yeah, that's a, that's definitely one great example. Once you, once you've gotten perfection, for some people, it's, it's enough to, you know, there's, there's still more to discover in the game and more to do, and you can set your own personal goals and challenges, or you can, like, just start a new, like, start, on, even just, like, starting on, like, a new farm type is enough for a lot of people. And just going for perfection in, like, you know, the beach farm, or the, the hilltop farm, or whatever, what have you. But a lot of the time, it's nice to be able to to throw to throw a whole big monkey wrench into the plans, and just, uh, <laughs> and, and just dive right into a big mod like this, and, and it's like you're playing a brand new game. 
perfection on each farm type. I was thinking of you, but when I when I was thinking about that, Lisa, yeah. <laughs> it is a that is a that is a big commitment. Rip amethyst. No spoilers. Ooh. Uh, so I'm up to nine iron bars here, 16 copper bars. I've got... How many is this? This is seven... Seven more smelting. So that gets me... That gets me to 16 and 16. I have three more copper bars to smelt here, which would get me to 19. Okay, so I, I, bas I basically just need three... Three more iron bars. Assuming I don't get any more any more copper ore to smelt here, and then we're we're in a good spot. Question is, should I commit all of these iron bars and copper bars and everything to fern to not I keep saying furnaces to sprinklers, or should I you know hold off and use some for like tool upgrades and stuff as well, or save some for tool upgrades? I am undecided as of right now. That is all the iron ore I should need here. So excited for the new farm type. I completely forgot there's going to be a new farm type in 1.6. Yo, that, that does get me excited. It'll give me something else to ignore when I pick beach farm for the hundredth time again. <laughs> because it's the only farm that's good for so many different challenges. But it'll make, the, it'll make the list on the side that much longer and I can consider it and maybe give chat a little bit of hope. And uh, before I, we just pivot to beach farm like we always do. Okay. Smelts a little more copper here. Maybe the new farm will be good too. Do you think it'll be even harder than beach farm? Because beach farm is supposed to be like the hard mode farm, right? Because you can't use sprinklers on it. I've just grown so used to it that that's just kind of like... I, I'm kind of of the opposite mindset now. I, my mindset has been completely reversed. I'm like, wait, you can use sprinklers on other farm types? What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there's a chance that the new farm type will be... What if it was like, you know... I could see it being I think I think the popular sort of consensus opinion would be is like a swampland farm, right? Like a swampy farm. And if that were the case, I could see maybe it being like you don't have to use sprinklers on that farm because like the the ground is already like moist, so you don't need the sprinklers. But I'm wondering like what the what the upshot of that would be because it can't just be like you have like free sprinklers everywhere that would be that wouldn't <laughs> that, that would be it would, you just pick that farm every time right but maybe maybe it's just like an extremely hostile farm to try and survive on lower quality crops maybe it would be like harassed by monsters all the time like even when it's not nighttime maybe there would be you know very little actual farmable land and most of it's just like covered in like debris and stuff You walk slower. It could just be that it's like small and there's not much room to work with potentially, but it makes sense from just like a log like a logistical perspective. Okay, I think I'm just gonna make. We've got a little bit more smelting here. We would have enough to make 19 sprinklers. I think I'm just gonna make 16 sprinklers to be honest, though. I'm gonna commit all that to sprinklers and we'll save the rest for for whatever else we decide we need. Uh, let's go ahead and leave behind the stuff I don't need here, or I don't that I don't need to take with me. Bring home this. Bring home this. Bring home all these goodies. Guess I'm bringing the copper bars. Yeah. Plants can drown. 
It introduces a whole new mechanic where it's like <laughs> where the, the water can completely uh, the, the plants can get overwatered or lower scarecrow radius. Scarecrows are not enough to protect your plants. I think it would be too harsh of a punishment if just scarecrows like didn't work in the swamp, but like it's like automatically sprinklers. That would be too harsh. So maybe yeah, it would be like reduce scarecrow like effectiveness, or you need to do something extra, or who knows. The swamp can eat the plants. I'm excited to see it either way. It could be not swamp at all. Maybe it'll be like a... I don't know. Maybe it'll be like Magicant, like an Earthbound. Like a magical farmland. Probably not, but a man can dream. Okay, we're good to go now, right? Gotta go pop by the saloon. Say hi to the townsfolk who are still mingling about there and give Emily her birthday present here. Do I give her... I guess I'll give her a Jade. Do I even... Did I even take the Aquamarine with me? I must have left it back at the mines there. Oh, well. Crystal Farm. You're one of the few regulars here that has less than a thousand hours in Stardew Valley. That's totally fine. I mean, honestly, it's, you know... It's an exponential curve. With your play with your play time. Like, I don't think I've learned that much about Stardew Valley between hours one thousand and two thousand compared to what I learned between hours like zero and a thousand, or even like or even like five hundred and a thousand, honestly. How you doing, Martin? I don't want to work today. It's a good thing you get to go home now, right? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to trying to get in. Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? A couple times, yeah. I should be I should be paying more attention to what's going on with the wizard as well, actually. So we went over the one time and he had like a whole big like basement full of like crazy stuff going on, so I should probably actually make an effort to go out there and start getting on his good side and maybe learning a thing or two about magic. Okay. Happy birthday, Emily. Aggressive debris, you need the fully upgraded scythe to clear. I do think that the... Those, like, new giant bushes... Do lend some credence to the idea that there could be a, uh... That there could be, like, a swamp... A swamp farm and those giant bushes would be, like, features that you need to take down with the, like, iridium scythe or something like that. Who knows? I'm not willing to necessarily, like, say anything definitive about 1.6. The one thing, the, the one theory or conjecture point that I am, like, more confident about than anything else, like, I would stake my claim in this, I would, I, I'm like, this is, this seems, this just feels right, is that those bushes will require the Iridium Scythe to break. That just seems so correct in my brain. Or at least the gold scythe. Like it's, it, it, they seem like big bushes that it's like you can't quite cut through this with your with your default scythe. You need to you need to get a, a higher quality scythe in order to get the job done. Give the scythe upgrades a bit more of an oomph, I suppose. All right, I'll store these for right now because I don't really have the, the wherewithal to put them out, and uh, we'll head off to bed here. Yo, level 5 mining! We're getting all the professions today. Ooh. Um. Miner? Do we go miner? Miner 4 Niner? The complete tool set. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to, to full Iridium tools for sure. You never knew there were other sites than normal and gold. Those are the only ones that exist right now. In 1.6, there's, there's there should be an Iridium site <laughs> according to Concern Date. Chance for gems to appear in Paris. I feel like geologist is not usually the. I, I feel I, I, just, I just like miner. It seems so valuable to get those extra ores. Hello, sir. You're not expanded. I was. <laughs> I was. We could have been jump scared by a whole new face there.
Okay. Yeah, get Queen of Sauce here, right? Another bad luck day. Why am I not surprised? Just my luck. That's just the way it would be. Eeyore playing Stardew Valley. Alright. Last day of spring. We don't need to water any of this stuff. We can harvest all of these little forageable goodies. Should I turn all of my existing spring forage into seeds? I think we went over this last time in Expanded, and I think the answer is yes, generally. I can make salads now, thank you. Make it all into seeds. It's always more profitable. All right, fair enough. All right, we take we take all of our forage, and we make as many... Not that, not you, sorry. We make as many spring seeds as I can muster. I have made 60 spring seeds in addition to... I think I had some other ones in here, right? I have 140 spring seeds. Should I sell these? Save a leak for George. We got a couple leaks for George, just by happenstance. <laughs> Saplings are better, but I'm not. But I'm not friends with Caroline. We could try and work on friendship with Caroline. I don't know where we're at there. Probably at. Oh, we're at one heart. Okay. It probably wouldn't take that much to get up to two hearts with Caroline here. If we if we just like focus on her for a, for a little bit here, we could probably get to two hearts pretty easily. So maybe we focus on that, and then uh, and then we can use them for even more profit. Like there is a big temptation to just sell all 140 of these spring seeds and get a pretty decent chunk of change. But if we wait on it, we can make even more. Save fiber and wood also. We have not much wood, but we do have a decent amount of fiber right now. And we've got plenty of stuff to clear on the farm still. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I will bring a gold star daffodil with me just so I can give it to Caroline at some point today. Sell those potatoes. And what else should I do today? I guess I can go ahead and start getting my field ready for summer tomorrow. I can get the I can get the sprinklers down and stuff, right? Are we upgrading a tool? I don't have the metal bars to upgrade any of my tools. I could I could get the um I could get some iron to upgrade my pickaxe. I think I'm gonna wait for after I buy my seeds and stuff though tomorrow on a in, in summer here before I invest in tool upgrade or anything like that. More wood. Okay. I think I'm going to start by preparing the field by just like setting up the sprinklers how, how we want them here. So, sayonara, you chumps. I guess I could have saved some. I didn't realize these were all like fertilized and stuff. That's okay. But we'll, I want to start with a clean slate here. So, so this just this feels like the right way to go. And those strawberry plants were one day from retirement, too. Rip. 07 to the strawberry plants. They did well. They served us quite well here. Okay. Let's just let's just start from like a totally blank slate here. Grab everything I could possibly need. And go from there. I've got how many sprinklers do I have? I have 16 regular quality sprinklers, just basic sprinklers, and one re and one actual quality sprinkler. I could buy more sprinklers from from Sophia. Is that smart? Should I use like it, there's 600 a pop? I could buy like a few. It's probably worth. Well, I don't know if the basics. I could maybe buy, buy like another like quality sprinkler. That's like 3,500, right? We have nine melon and starfruit seed. We got we got a, a leg up on the spring seed on the sum, on the summer seeds right now. Sixteen times four is how many seeds? That would be what sixty four seeds. Plus the eight eight from the quality sprinkler is going to be seventy two. 
What seeds am I planting? I don't know yet. <laughs> I do not know how many, how much for the seeds I want tomorrow. I've got 72. I feel like it would be nice to be able to get just get up to a nice 80 seeds. I feel like 80 seeds is is a good. It's just a nice round number, and that would be another either two basic sprinklers for 1,200 or a quality sprinkler for 3,500. I mean, when you break it down like that, right? <laughs> or we could go... I guess we can go craft two more sprinklers as well. We actually do have the metal bars to do that. Now I'm thinking about it. I did save some. How much are 72 Cs? I don't know what Cs I'm going to plant. So <laughs> I, I don't know yet. We're probably going to do like a whole big mishmash. 80 gold and melon. If I went to all melons, okay, well let's just let's just assume we go all melons if we were gonna go like max profitability there. So that would be what? That would be sixty four hundred gold for for eighty melon seeds. If I went all sunflowers, it's we're not definitely not going all sunflowers. I'll tell you that right now. We we gotta we gotta mix it up a little bit here. We gotta diversify, diversify our farming portfolio. I think I'm gonna go ahead. Well, let me just get let me just get these. I don't I don't know how I want to lay this out. Hold on. Where do I where do I want to start by putting sprinklers? I'll put one right. Right here. It's not going to be a pretty field. I've, al I've already... I've already uh, accepted that fact. How do you lay these out? It's like... Okay, so it would be like... Like this, right? Okay. And then we can do... Like here... It's it's a knight's move. Yo, the knight's move tech. I forgot. Okay, it's it's, it's useful in other places that aren't my that aren't the mines. <laughs> knight's moves. Get some get some horses in chat. Horse emojis for the knights. Okay, that goes there. Knight's move. Go two down and one to the right. Two down, one to the right. Is this is this shaping up okay? We got three more to go here. Look at this. Look, it feels so good when you actually do it the proper way. Remember that one time I didn't do it the proper way and everyone yelled at me? Good times, man. Good times. But in like a fun way. People were yelling at me in a fun way. Okay, I'll put one down here. And we got room for a quality sprinkler somewhere around here. Just like right here, I guess. Is fine. This is, is going to be such a such a scuffed field. <laughs> I'm here for it though. Okay, let's go ahead and hoe all the. Well, I guess I don't need to hoe the spots because they're going to be unhoed in the morning anyway because nothing's planting on plants on them, right? Some of them will be anyway. Is it's probably not worth spending the energy to hoe them. Doesn't have to be pretty as long as it waters the plants. True enough. All right, let's go ahead and do a little, we'll do a little kitty corner scarecrows here. Actually, we'll, do, we'll just do all corner scarecrows, why not? The mighty scarecrow empire, perfect. All right, it's not quite lined up. Hold on, I, I feel like I should line these up with each other a bit more. Actually, hold on, we can do you like here. Move you like one over here. Maybe like one down as well. Then line this up like so. And no, you know this works, this works because I I do this and then bring you here, because you're in line with both the other ones there, and that doesn't infringe on this. It does kind of... I kind of want to... I'm going to... might move this down one, though, just so I can actually see that spot and whatever's going to be growing on it. Which means I would want to move you down one as well, for symmetry's sake. Okay. I'm happy with that. 
Lemino, welcome. Welcome on in. Okay, let's go find... Is Caroline out and about? On a Sunday at 1 p.m. She might be in her tea room. If she is, then that's that's just unfortunate. Hello. Andy, as I said before, you can't ignore... No, you listen to me. What in tarnation is that supposed to mean? Don't come tell me I owe more. I'm doing just fine with you. Fine with Her Fairhaven Farm. Don't you go tell me this bad news. Uh-oh. It's out of my hands. The Ferngill government had just... Oh, <laughs> and he's not going to be hearing that. I'm not hearing any of this. This will ruin me, you hear? Oh my gosh. I thought this valley was support supported local farmers. Yo, he's, 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 he is bellowing. He's, he's putting on his stage voice today. The mayor of Grampleton isn't happy with this either. I'm in no way trying to... No! The answer is no, Lewis. I can barely afford my seeds for new harvests. I can't afford this at all. Andy, everything will be okay. I'm, go I'm going to divert funds from the Fed. Lewis is, is doing his darndest, man. <laughs> I do not envy this man one bit. I don't need no one's help. I don't accept handouts. I'll figure something out. Andy. This conversation is over. I'm leaving. How you doing there, Flip? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Oh. That's rough. I mean, I feel for both Andy and for Lewis in that in that situation. There's, there's a, uh, you know, not easy on either side. You heard all of that, didn't you? Mm, maybe a little bit. <laughs> The Ferngill government is introducing new regulations. I don't think they understand the negative impact it's having on small communities like this one. Wait, does that mean I need to pay more taxes or something? Hold on. Hold on. No, it, I mean, if it's one thing if it's affecting the people in town here, but if it's affecting me on my little farm, then we got problems, Lewis. We're going to have problems. I'm aware Andy is struggling, and he isn't doing too well financially. Oh, man. Rest assured, Flip, Kendra and I are, are drafting an elaborate proposal. Kendra? New new lore just dropped? Who's Kendra? Can you do me a favor and check on Andy? Sure. You got it. Take his anger out on me, too. No, I gave him that awesome butterfish for his birthday. I'll go check on him. Probably from Grampleton. That, would be, that was my first instinct, is maybe it's the mayor of Grampleton. That he was talking about before. I'm going to start on that draft now. Have a nice day. Oh, here we go. Do I actually have to head down there myself, or is it going to... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll head over there in a minute. First, I want to see if I can't catch Caroline. How's that draft going there, Lewis? <laughs> I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. Man. How how things how things turn, you know? <laughs> well, how are you doing, Sophia? Spring is ending soon. So much to do. I'll have a lot of work on my play. You and me both. Okay, Caroline. She is out here. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Excuse me. I was looking at chat. So I was, that's why I was walking into a wall. My apologies. I'm just going to think... I'm just going to relax and think positively. Ever take a day off? Andy is over here. Hello. I've never been religious, but hey, I'm old. Didn't always used to come to Yoba. I came to came to my senses. Didn't always used to believe in Yoba. Came to my senses when I was in dire need of help. Yoba saved me. The least I can do is show respect. Fair enough. Taking the day off. Hey, because Andy's here, I was gonna go down to his like farm and like and check and see if there's like a follow up cutscene. I don't know if there will be now that he's here, but I'll, I'll go give it a whirl anyway. How you doing, Martin? Sometimes take the bus here to check out the books from the library. The guy with the goatee doesn't talk much. Put, put some respect on the name, brother. That's Gunther you're talking about.
Maybe you don't have to water. Oh, for the swamp farm? You don't have to water, but you can't use fertilizer. That would be interesting. That would be an interesting little little nugget to play around with, possibly. Like the swamp land is too like too rich for the fertilizer or something like that. Fairhaven Farm. Let's see what's uh what's going on here, if anything. He's not home, man. He's not I don't know what I don't know what you expect me to do, Mayor <laughs> Mayor Lewis. I'm I tried. I tried. Oh well. We'll we'll come back maybe when he's home and see if that uh if that amounts to anything. Delivery. Waiting for we're still waiting on that eel, huh, Marnie? Go we'll talk to him, actually I won't, as this is the end of the cutscene. <laughs> Gotta love that video game logic. Alright, what should I be doing now? Now I'm I'm, I'm trying to think. I guess collect more wood, like people were saying earlier. Go and collect some more wood and maybe some, like, sap for fertilizers. We don't have the recipe for, like, higher quality fertilizers, right? Nor do we have the, the fish infrastructure to make that work. We'll, we'll need to set up some crab pots eventually, I guess, to do that. Yeah, I enjoy the work on the farm. Sprinkler. Oh, I could have bought another sprinkler, that's true. Mm. I'm gonna go get the I'll go get the bars from the mine and then I'll I'll make more sprinklers that way if I'm inclined here. Summer can't come soon enough. I'm looking forward to going to the beach more often. I I have been looking forward to summer here for quite a few reasons for with expanded. It's, I think it's just gonna be like, you know, there's gonna be more more new stuff, which is always exciting, and seeing how the valley changes and just what's available to me is going to be it's going to be interesting. New seasons are, are an exciting time as it is in the in the vanilla game. I can only imagine they're they're more so and expanded here. You're looking forward to summer in real life. Depending on where you are, that's uh, it's going to be a bit of a wait. <laughs> It's been pretty, like, pretty springly around here, I will say. Like, it's definitely not... Um, hello. Where are you? An Emin? Emin? I use, I use the special totem crafted by our wizard to teleport here. Yo, new warp totem! The new warp totem spoilers! Yo! <laughs> Stardew expanded, confirm canon. It's getting hotter. Spring is coming to an end soon. Don't spoil it, Emin. <laughs> okay. Bring these back with me. I would absolutely adore to get those mine carts. Every, every time I have to make this long trek to and from the mines, that those mine carts get more and more enticing to just, you know, just beeline it for. That said, some of the stuff I need to get isn't as much within my control. I mean, I guess most of it is. Like, the, the Iridium Ore is the only thing that's throwing me. I don't know the best path to take to get to get the Iridium Ore for, for the one bundle. That's the one thing that's throwing me right now. The rest of it I can, I can manage in time here. Amin, Emmy, M, Air, Eric, Bar Eric Baroni? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think you might have cracked it, Dancer Chick. Okay. We'll do a little chopping around here. I'll get the, I'll get these last few sprinklers in. The last couple sprinklers even. I don't think I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make two more sprinklers. So we have the 80, like I said. So we'll go ahead and take two of these. Um, well, I shouldn't have done that, but... <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Pop those away. We can make one more... 
one more set of spring seeds for the road. You have to Omni and Magma Geode and pray. That's pro it is not a bad way to go about it. it just opening a bunch of Magma and Omni Geodes. Because realistically, like the the best way to get Iridium or otherwise would just be to like unlock Skull Cavern, right? And then and then go go deep in there and get some that way. Just like you know the normie way of doing it. Okay, we're gonna go. Um, oh, this this quality sprinkler is throwing things off over here, so I'm just gonna go do it this side instead. I think do it like that and like that. Okay, perfect. Works out nicely. Let's go chop some trees, shall we? Yeah, Lily Panda. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I'm trying this motto too. Is you know, is one of those things that was on my mind for a long time that uh, I wanted to. I wanted to give a whirl. I'm glad that I'm. I'm glad that I'm finally doing it. It's definitely living up to the hype. Another thing I actually want to try in the in the near future, or give more, give more of a look into, is the archipelago randomizer, which has been sort of gaining traction. I've I've I know a little bit about it, and I'm not gonna. All right, I need to, I need to tell this story because it's too it's it's too silly not to share. I have actually like downloaded the Arch archipelago randomizer. And have like looked into trying to set it up just to see what it's like all about and kind of get like a vibe, a vibe for it. For those who don't know Ar Archipelago, it's basically a, it's not just for Stardew Valley. It's for like a bunch of games. Like you can like kind of connect a bunch of games together and randomize them together. But you can also use it just to randomize like a single game. And that's kind of the way I, I wanted to give it a try was to randomize just Stardew Valley. And it randomizes a lot of elements of it. It randomizes, like, you know, where you can find, like, seeds. Like, you can't just buy seeds from Pierre. You kind of have to, like, unlock seeds. You have to unlock seasons. You have to unlock, like, tool upgrades. It's got a whole bunch of different really unique and cool stuff. And, like, nothing is as you would expect it. And one of the things that it randomizes, probably, like, the most impactful part of the randomization process, is that it randomizes, um buildings so like anytime you enter or exit a building in the game it leads to a map that you don't expect it to so like you know you go into pierre's general store that could lead to like the walnut room or like you go into the museum that could lead to some random like place on ginger island or something like that which is which is very very interesting and it can make for some extremely difficult scenarios and here's where the story comes in, chat. I I, I set up, I, I just wanted to test it to see if I could like wrap my mind around how it kind of works. So I, I set up like a seed. I looked into like the archipelago stuff. I set up like a seed to randomize it. Or I did all the settings and I did I did the whole process of it. And then I connected my game to it to see if it actually worked. And it did, and it did end up working. And when I was in the game, I didn't I didn't do much in the game because I didn't want to do like a, a randomized playthrough without like it being on stream or record or anything. But while I was in there, I was just like curious to see if it was like actually like how it was working or not. And I so I stepped out of my farmhouse and the first end was <laughs> is the stupidest thing. The farmhouse, when you leave the farmhouse, that counts as like a, a randomized location as well. So you leave the farmhouse, you're not immediately on the farm. When I left the farmhouse, I came out, the, the entrance I came out of was the house, it's the entrance for the house that Leo moves into when he's, when he move when he moves into the valley. But there was no actual door there. It, it like counts it as an entrance, but there's no door to go back in. So I left there, I was in front of that tree, and I realized, oh... If I were to play on this seat, I would not be able to go back into my house until I befriend Leo and get him to move to the valley and make this an accessible door. And so I was like, oh, oh, that's fun. 
And then, so I have saved that seed, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll maybe we'll maybe we'll mess around with that at some point in the future because that could be that could be an interesting time. I don't even know what I'm doing up here. I should be chopping down trees, not just random logs, but permanently passing out. Only until you you, you just have to be you have to just have to go find and befriend Leo and get him to move into the valley, and then you can go back to your house. As easy as that. You need to get him up to what, like what, like seven hearts or something? When it comes to randomizers, make sure they're actually completable. I'm pretty sure it, it would be completable. Like, I feel, feel like the Archipelago randomizer is a robust enough piece of software that I, I trust that it would have been possible. But the settings I used for it were like, you know, I went kind of like all out because I was like, I wasn't intending on ever actually playing through it. So I was like, you know, we'll just we'll just go all in for just just for just for kicks. Once I saw that, I was kind of like, it kind of like got it kind of lit a light bulb over my head. I was like, oh, oh, there's. I mean, that's just you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg as to what might be possible and the challenges you might run into in a randomizer of that caliber. So I'm I'm excited to maybe maybe play with that in the future a little bit more. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I think we're good to go to bed here, aren't we? Betty by time. Everyone wave goodbye to spring. Those daffodils and dandelions disappearing in our in our rear view mirror as we dive headlong into summer. Let's go. Summer brings with it so many new things. We got new forage, we got new events probably we got new there's a new character to me once we actually have access to the railroad i think <laughs> new crops new fish new new so so many new things not to mention a little bit of new music all right look at those sprinklers go Dear resident, in our time in Stardew Valley, Joja has made an effort to become a contributing member member of the community, but we can't do it without your help. If you choose to shop at Joja's competitors, such as Pierre's General Store, you won't have the same assurance of quality and consistency. And without your business, we won't be able to afford to contribute as much as we'd like to to our local charities. Shop at Joja Mart and, and help keep your community great. Joja Mart, we value your business. This is an AI-generated message. <laughs> Definitely has that vibe, doesn't it? All right, let's go ahead and, uh, well, I mean, that, that solidifies that I'm never shopping at Joja, basically. All right. Start doing the hoeing here, the hoeing, and then we got, we'll, we'll do the watering after this. And we do have a few seeds we can plant to start with. We have what, like ten seeds, right? We have we have the nine, not nine star fruit seeds. We didn't need to hit that one, but that's fine. We got the nine melon seeds plus the star fruit seed. Sorry, my brain is just kind of like doing overtime, making sure I'm hoeing all the right spots. When, when I'm in the middle like this, I I just hoe all the spots. It doesn't matter, but on the edges. My brain is just, I don't know why I have to focus so much. It's not really that challenging of a, of a puzzle. <laughs> pickaxe upgrade. Yeah, the pickaxe upgrade should be our next order of business, I think, is getting the steel pickaxe here. Both for good mines progress going going forward and, and to unlock new areas and stuff, so. All right, and quality sprinkler here. Okay, I think that's good. I'm actually gonna pickaxe all the spots that I that are not watered, just so I don't accidentally confuse myself. I think that's good, right? We're not missing any spots here. Top left, top left, top left. Oh, top right. I don't know if that's what you meant, but I I just noticed that one. Top right. Oh, okay, gotcha. I, I, I saw the top left, but I didn't see the top right. Correction, my bad. All right, thank you, Miss Palindrome. Okay. We're good there. Let's go ahead and 
get to water in. That's not where the wood goes. How much sap do I have? 342 sap. So we need... We've got 80 spots here. Should I should I put fertilizer on all of them? Or should I do, like, anything else? Like, can I do, like, speed grow or anything? Pine tar and a clam? That's, that's gonna be a yikes for me. I think we just do basic fertilizer, right? Okay. Put that away. Grab these seeds here. Oh, I guess I have some speed grow there. Do I need... Should I put speed grow on anything? I can't imagine it's going to be that impactful on anything here, but... All right. The one lone star fruit there. And then we'll go ahead and load up the melons down here for right now. Actually, I should just, let me just put the fertilizer in so I'm not, for, not thinking about it. Do we have the sticky bundle? No, we had the uh, the construction bundle, thankfully. We don't need to worry about the 500 sap requirement, which is, like, kind of an insane bundle, honestly. <laughs> 500 sap is a lot. Speed grow on the star fruit. I'm just trying to think, like, to what end. Like, why would I need to grow the star fruit faster than anything else? I'm missing a spot here. Oh, the star fruit spot. <laughs> Doi. I don't think I need. I don't think I need the speed grow on the star fruit. I think that's fine like that. Um, we could do the mixed seeds here as well. Should I plant some mixed seeds? I guess it couldn't hurt to plant some mixed seeds. I don't, I don't remember what the mixed seeds in, in summer go into, but just get them in the ground here. It's nice to be able to water and not have to worry about, like, navigating around a bunch of, like, stumps and stuff, like, in the randomizer. <laughs> I have to, it's kind of like a, a janky setup with the basic sprinklers here, just because that's how basic sprinklers are, but still kind of a nice breath of fresh air. That's 16 out of 80, so we need 64 more seeds of some, in some combination. Starting to feel exhausted. You can push through it, flip. Definitely not as janky as the, as the logs. And also not as permanent as the logs. Sticky bundle goes really well. Foraging level 4 by Salmonberry season. I guess it would, yeah. I never even thought about that as a, like a potential grind, but yeah, I guess that would be a good thing to go for. To get the, like, extra salmonberry harvest during salmonberry season. Not a bad call. Hardwood stumps in the secret woods for mahogany seeds. It's a good shout. Although I don't know if I need that many mahogany trees, honestly. I feel like the like hardwood is in is in great supply and started to expand it so far. At least uh like just just by visiting the secret woods one time, I got like 60 hardwood. <laughs> Granted, most of that was from like breaking the, the big logs and stuff to get there in the first place, but still. I feel like it's uh like mahogany trees probably aren't as impactful as they would be in vanilla. Just talking to sticky bundle strats. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Let's go buy 64 seeds of some varieties. I need to make sure I have at least the ones for the summer crops bundle here. So tomato, hot pepper, blueberry, and melon. I mean, I was probably going to grow blueberries and melons for sure. Hot pepper is... I mean, hot pepper and tomato, I don't know if I'm just going to invest in like one of each of those plants or how I'm going to do it here, but... Got to keep those in mind. All right, yeah, let's go pop on over to Pierre's and sort out our business. 
Next goal after planting. I mean, I want to work towards the steel pickaxe for sure. I don't have the metal bars to do that just yet. But, oh, Caroline. Um, I didn't bring a gift for Caroline. I just wanted to check my heart status with her. We're still only at one heart. That's fine. Caroline, Jody, and Olivia down here. On Wednesdays, the shop is closed. Don't You don't need to remind me. <laughs> you do not need to remind me. It's one thing that every Stardew Valley player has burned into their memory and still somehow forgets when, it's, when it matters most. Ah, Summer, I can finally show off my new bikini at the beach. I believe Caroline has a new bikini as well. Oh, fair enough. Is the, now's the weather to now's the weather to go to for the beachgoers, right? Summer in Stardew Valley is all right. Not too warm, not too cold. Is perfect. I, I would beg to differ as to summer being a perfect season. At least where I'm at, it's a little too hot in the summer for my liking. I'd like to put a topaz on my great grandfather's tombstone. It might be heading to the mines, so I can see if I can give that a whirl. Okay. New birthdays to concern ourselves with here. We got Martin's birthday on the 6th and Victor's birthday on the 23rd. Keep those in mind. You love Olivia's subtlety. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and buy... So, 64 seeds. What do we have? What options do we have here? We got... I mean, we got lots of options. There's there's myriad seeds to choose from. I should probably... I should probably... Um, plant, like, some of, like, a little... Like, a little bit of every... Well, not everything, necessarily. Like, melons and blueberries are the, are the de facto ones here, right? Need a sunflower for the bulletin board. Oh, true, true. Is that the only, like, summer crop or anything I, I have to worry about for the bulletin board here? It's animal stuff. Red cabbage is, is it is summer, right? But it's, uh, obviously we don't have access to it right now. Ooh, ice cream we can get, actually. Um, poppy. Poppy is summer, right? Poppy, poppy, poppy. Poppy seeds. Okay, so we can get poppy seed. Sunflower seed. Let's just get the community center stuff taken care of for sure. Okay, so that's four seeds right there that, that are just community center needed. Do We could just go like... Unless, unless we want to diversify any more than this, we could just go like 30 melon seeds and 30 blueberry seeds. Do we need quality melons? I don't think we have the quality crops bundle, no. I think we have um, rare crops bundle instead. We've already got the rare seed waiting for that one. We just need to, to plant it in fall. Summer crops is fine. Fall crops. I mean, we can get a head start on the corn and the fall crops there, but we don't need to necessarily. Caroline loves summer spangles. Okay, yeah, I could probably plant a summer spangle. Well, I, honestly, I don't know if I need to plant summer spangles too much. How fast do they grow? Eight days? Okay. I can plant, like... Hmm. You like Kitty's idea? Two, two of each, and then lots of melons and blueberries. I think I can get behind that. Two, two of each. Like, one of each just feels, like, so sad. Like, I feel like the crops, they, they need a buddy. I am a strong proponent of the buddy system, and not only when it comes to crops. All right, we got... So that's 10 seeds right there. And then we go halvesies on the on the melons and blueberries. That feels kind of right to me. So we got 10 here. We got 10 planted already. And we got 16 planted already, so we have 26 planted. So we've got 54 to get, which would be 27 of each, right? Pops are really good energy. We haven't been really hurting for energy that much, though. Like, I can also just, like, fish for energy. I feel like fish are underrated when it comes to energy. I don't know. This feels this feels fine to me. I don't, I'm, I don't feel the pressing need for wheat or corn or anything right now. 
need hops for Pam anyway. That is true. That is true. We'll need pops for like a pale ale eventually. Okay. Two of those. And I can, you know what? I can, I can commit. Because if I commit two more to something else, then that's like a fifth, even 50 that we have left. And then I can just go 25 on the melons and the, and the blueberries. So two, nobody's, nobody's out here for radishes. <laughs> no, but nobody's dying on that hill. Just go corn, maybe. Pale ale is good money. I don't have access to kegs yet, though, anyway, so. All right. I'm committing. Lock it in. Lock it in, folks. Don't worry about crops for cooking on, until year two. Honestly, I think there's something to be said. Has anyone ever thought about the fact that maybe you shouldn't farm at all in year one? <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's maybe at least not until like you know like fall of year one. I, I feel like you could like you could like focus like so intently on like fishing and mining and every other aspect of the game and build up a nice, sustainable supply of, like, resources and stuff, that by the time, and then by the time you get to year two, you're just, like, so ready to, to like, go all out in farming. I feel like there might be, there might be something to that, I don't know. Just the cross for the community center, you could, yeah, you could just, you could probably get away with that, honestly. Just do, like, cross for the community center. And then focus on, like, getting a bunch of money and resources through mining, fishing, whatever else. And then, uh... And not have to worry about anything else beyond that. I kind of like that idea. Interesting challenge idea. I also honestly don't even know if it would be a challenge idea. It might just be, like, a different way to play the game. It's, like, a different approach to a... To a traditional format, you know? Chaos planting pattern. You got to make do with what you can with these basic sprinklers. What can I say? <laughs> All right. Um. Well, I'm satisfied. I think I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not. Well, should I go to the mines? I don't really have that much energy to go to the mines with. I might just go fishing, honestly. Because with fishing, at least I can sustain myself with the fish that I catch as far as energy goes. If I, if I need to. And I'm curious to see what other fish might be available anyway. Plus, we all we need to catch some fish for the community center still. What's this delivery? This is this is Topaz for Sebastian. Got it. Let's check the fish tank real quick. Fish tank, river fish. We can't get tiger trout yet. Um, quality tuna is on is on my radar. Crab pot. I should be paying more attention to to my crab pots down at the beach. Um, ocean fish. I think I can get all of these. In summer, I can get the sturgeon. Walleye has to wait until fall. Okay. I think I'm going to go fishing at the ocean. Both to check on my crab pots and just because it's a good place to fish in summer. What's the name of the character that looks like Jelly in this game? Are you maybe thinking of Krobus? <laughs> a little black licorice jelly? Or perhaps Slomp of Slomp's Stomp fame? Mr. Chi? Mr. Chi does kind of look like he could be the mascot for a brand of gelatin. Sponsored by Jojo. What is that? It's an ancient tablet? It's a sand dollar, actually. I thought I had discovered, like, the secrets to the universe just lying out here on the beach. I want to be just like my big big brother when I grow up. That's kind of, that's nice. That's sweet. Ooh, Nautilus fossil. Lost book. Are any of these good for crab pop bundle? The, the muscle is. Cockle, I think. Did we already donate the cockle? We did already donate the cockle. Okay. Valid. I should buy more. I don't have. I mean, I'm trying to say Willie's not open right now, so I can't buy more 
More stuff, more bait. It's fine. Did I have anything in here? No. Who needs bait when you got bubbles? I've always said this. Hey there, Allie. Welcome on in. Good to see you. Good to see you as always. Did we complete the bridge? We did. Oh, so technically the crimson fish is on deck. Dull seaweed! Let's go! My favorite new fish. One of the fastest naturally growing protein sources of protein. Ooh. What are you? I'm trying to think, is there a fish? Is there a nor normal vanilla fish that would be this difficult at past 7 p.m. on a summer night? You couldn't be an octopus. You couldn't be a puffer fish. You could be a super cucumber, maybe? Super Cucumber makes sense, I think. Otherwise, this is probably a new fish. Either way, I need to, I need to find out, so let's, let's not lose this one. Thanks. I mean, thanks for that. <laughs> that was that was very nice of you to, to stay in place that quite that long. Oh, almost messed it up, though. Don't mess up this golden opportunity. This fish is he's resting on his laurels. At least he was for a little while. Holy moly. What do we got? Super cucumber. Let's go. Gold quality super cucumber. That is a bit. That's a big get. It's honestly like a lot of money. <laughs> Dull seaweed. Pretty good for for energy restoration. You call them jelly guys? Are you talking about the Junimos? I can see the Junimos being like jelly guys, like little, little little bundles of jello rolling around. What are you? You are a starfish? <laughs> Referred to as sea stars because of their star-shaped appearance. Minus 90 energy. They do not want you to eat this lad. Look at his face, man. What is this? Look at this guy's face. There's there's an emoji that looks like that face. Can we get that emoji in chat, please? Just all just starfish emoji in, in honor of our starfish. Starfish face emoji, specifically. <laughs> I, I love them. I literally just met this starfish, but if, any, if anything were to happen to him, so on and so forth. Can I put him in a fish tank? I hope so. Oh, I see bubbles up there. Can I reach? Not quite from here. Such an awkward spot for bubbles. I mean, I'll, I'll wrap around. I mean, it's probably worth, like, at least... It's, depending on how long these bubbles last. It's worth at least sticking it out. I believe all the Stardew Valley fish are fish tank compatible. The frog was not, but it's debatable as to whether you would consider that a fish necessarily. <laughs> More starfish! Let's go! My starfish empire begins today. Well, thank you for, for that, I suppose. Lovely little halibut. Not the frogs or the dull seaweed, yeah. It's alright. They'll have their time in the sun. Just you wait. Just you wait. The dull seaweed, if nothing else, it's a really good it's a really good source of energy, I'm just I'm realizing. How <laughs> but you get me a better fish. <laughs> I'll give you a plus two on that pun. Dull seaweed? That fish, did that fish, I was going to say, that fish was like dead. It just like hang, hung out at the bottom of the of the screen the entire time. You know, so, you know, you only get one 
You only get one first day of summer in a Stardew Valley playthrough. Let's see if we can make it count. Let's see if we can at least, you know, take a crack at the current Crimson Fish here. Why not? Go big or go home. That's not the that's not the right kind of seaweed. You had me mistaken for someone who who accepts dare I say normal seaweed? Could not be me. Alright, that one that went so well. That went very well. <laughs> These streams really lure you in. I see what you did there, Allie. Ocean says go home. Not until I've got my crimson fish. I wonder if I can put the starfish and the puppy fish in a fish tank together. Because the starfish does strike me as a fish that would hang out on the bottom of the tank, right? Rather than, like, swimming around. And usually in those fish I think in the fish tank there's, like, room for one swimmer and one, one bottom feeder, one lurker. No offense to my lurkers. Ooh, ooh. It's probably another super cucumber. If I can get this other super cucumber here, I'll be I'll be satisfied. Call me Angelica Skyler, I'm so satisfied. Actually, the opposite should be true, but <laughs> I used my last piece of bait. Alright, I know I said I was gonna be satisfied, but what can I say? I'm never satisfied. The bar increases automatically when you level up in fishing. Yeah, it increases in like the middle of the day. When if you level up in fishing, you get the you automatically get the uh or instantaneously I should say get the fishing bar increase. Seaweed for the tank too, yeah, just for like decoration. I feel ya. Alright, this is the last one. And it's prob it seems like it, it maybe it's more dull seaweed. Maybe it's another halibut. I knew it. I knew it. Just like... Just like Thor in Endgame. I knew it. Know what I'm talking about? No spoilers? Oh, that's the wrong way. We do not sleep in the graveyard. Sad we can't put crystals and gems in tanks. Colorful rocks are the best part of the tanks. That would be, that would be pretty good, yeah. That would be a pretty good little quality of life. Not qu not even quality of life, but just aesthetic upgrade. Summer has arrived. My favorite season. Why is it your favorite season, Morris? Why? People love to shop during the summer. The sun puts them in a good mood, and we get keep the store nice and cool so they can come in and get out of the heat. Could have guessed. Could have guessed. Alright, um, what do I sell? What do I keep and what do I sell? We keep the muscle for sure, because that's, that's community center. I will sell... I'm going to sell my super cucumbers. I'm going to sell my sand dollars and my conch and all this. I'll keep the seaweed. I'll sell this halibut. I'll sell these halibuts. I'll sell this cockle. I will keep a rainbow shell for dying purposes, potentially. Keep my dull seaweed. I will... Sell a silver star starfish and keep my gold star buddy. I am content with this arrangement. Okay, put that away. Keep this. We can bring these both in for like donation purposes tomorrow. Tell me you both fit in the tank. Let's go! Oh, my intuition was right. Perfect. You'd love to see it. He's just chilling on the bottom. <laughs> Gazing up the gazing up at the seal and pondering life like his name is Naps the Bluke. Alright. Level seven fishing. We take that. I had a feeling. 
It was it was been a while since our since a fishing level up here. Holy moly. <laughs> Those super cucumbers kind of carried, honestly. 233 for the starfish, not bad. Did we need the rainbow shell for the community center? Uh, good call, actually. Well, I can just I can just go and check, actually, and I'm thinking about it. Ah, sprinklers. Look at this. I don't have to water anything today. Yo, wait. Wait, chat, why didn't you tell me sprinklers were so good? I shouldn't be playing on the beach farm as much. You can actually, like, you don't have to water all this stuff? Bro, that's crazy. No one told me. No one told me sprinklers were this good. I was just putting them down because, like, I'd heard that's what you do in this game. I didn't realize they were that good. To our valued Jojamart customers, please be advised that the landslide blockage near the railroad will be cleared using explosives tomorrow morning. Avoid the area in case of falling rocks. Jojo Co. is not responsible for any damage incurred to people and property in the vicinity. Someone tell Linus, please. He doesn't have a mailbox. <laughs> okay. Um, Rainbow Shell is not required for the community center. It's not like doing little pulsey pulse up here. What should I do today? I don't even know anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I should buy more bait at some point here. I'll, I guess I can craft more bait. I didn't even realize that. I, it's, it's, I've been playing the randomizer so much, I forgot I can craft my own bait here. <laughs> craft like 25, 50, I think it's call it 75 bait. I will put some on my rod here. Where did I put my fishing rod? Probably up here, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That on there. Actually, I should save some. There's two for my crab pots. Okay. Also got the topaz for Sebastian. That's true. We could, we should probably go to the mines anyway, just to just to get more resources and stuff. At least to get the iron for our for our pickaxe upgrade. So we can see if we can finesse a topaz during that situation as well. I'm down to do that. Let's go do a little bit of donating here. I'll go fill up those crab pots first, just because you, you never. I might get something for the crab pot bundle when I'm doing that. The wizard. Which NPC becomes marryable? I was I was wondering why everyone was saying the wizard. I was like, am I missing something here? Okay, it's, yeah, yeah, you can marry. You can marry the wizard. You can pet the dog in Stardew Valley Expanded. Magnus Bay. You give Dusty many pets. I wish Dusty had heart events. Maybe he does. Maybe I just haven't given it long enough. We'll see. Claire, my beloved. I would love to learn more about Claire, but I feel like I never catch her at the right times. Maybe I just need to go out of my way more. Okay, crab and mussel. Crab is crab has not been donated. Is that is, is that going to complete the crab pot bundle? That is, that will. Yeah. All right. That's that's another bundle down. We take that. I guess I can pop up to Joja and just see if Claire is, like, hanging out there. You vibe with Claire, like a BFF ti of tired people? Why is that so true? Why is that such a true statement right there? Ooh, new reward? What do you got for me, sir? Little Jade Hills. I don't really have room in my house for that one, so you can hold on to that for me if you don't mind. And I'll, I'll be back maybe someday to pick that up. Claire doesn't go to work on Tuesdays? Where does she go? Does Morris go to work on Tuesdays? What the heck are you doing out here? Perfect day to make money. <laughs> Is that how you approach every day in your life? It's, I don't know if, how far that's going to get you, my friend. Where does Claire hang out on Tuesdays? I can, I can, go, I can go chat her up real quick. Riz her up, as the kids say. Do people still say that, or is Riz outdated now? Alright. Crab pot. Do 
Jojo doesn't open till 10. Pierre opens earlier than that. What the heck? She's out of town. I guess that makes sense. If she if she comes into town, hello? Gus, are you Hey there, Flip. The kegs are in good shape. Stardrop Saloon's next batch of drinks are almost ready. Are you sure you shouldn't be Are you sure you should be doing this like, you know, not in the saloon itself? That's kind of uh, that's all right. You know what? No one was using that space for anything else, I suppose. So so why the heck not? <laughs> That just caught me off guard, seeing Gus just, like, chilling up there. Might not have space, I guess, yeah, and I guess if no one else is using it and, and Mayor Lewis is cool with it. Okay, I'm quickly gonna go drop off. Actually, do, are there any other forgeables up here? Nah. Summer forging should be an easy one to complete once we get things under control here. Once we give it a little more time, I guess, for us to find some Summer Forge. But either way, I wanted to come back here so I could drop off this and this. And we can set up more crab pots, I think. I guess I can just set up some crab pots here now I'm thinking about it. This might not be a the worst idea. So I can actually get some fish for, like, um, fertilizer purposes in the future. Just, ha just having a few of them there is probably not the worst idea, and I can refill them daily. Might even bring the ones from the beach up there if I if I remember to. Either way, I'm going to head up to the mines, and we'll see if I can't get the iron I need. I think I'm going to try and make a push for a deeper floor. I think we're going for like floor 75 at this point. It is a bad luck day, but if we get there early enough in the day, we should still be able to make at least five floors happen. And it'll just give me a nice sense of progression to do that. And the Topaz, good call. How late can we interact with Sebastian? Pretty late. As long as Expanded doesn't change too much on that front, he should still be out and about around, like, you know, 7 p.m. kind of thing. Probably later than that, even. He likes to hang out by the by the lake, if memory serves. I don't know if that's true in summer. I know that's that's true in in spring. Everyone's spring schedules are always like top of mind for me. But it seems like if he would be out and about during the summer as well, like a nice cool summer night's breeze. Oh man. I've said many times I that I'm not a huge fan of summer in real life, but if there's any time that I do like summer, it's at nighttime. When, you know, the sun has gone down, things are cooling off, there's like a nice sort of breeze, and it's just a refreshing calm about the land. That is, uh... That, that's when summer is at its peak, in my mind. Okay, bring me the broken trident here. Drop everything else off, I think. 475, here we go. Starts to head back from the lake at 9.30. Thank you. Appreciate the intel. Excuse me. No throwing bones in this house, please. Sir, after request, you cease and desist. Or else you will cease to exist. Man, that would have been so cool if I said it while he was still alive. All right. Summary heads to the lake around 7 p.m. Yeah, so it's basically the same as his as his spring schedule, as far as I can recall. We'll see. I mean, the the I mean, priority number one, we we have to first find the topaz, and I don't really have that much control over that. I don't think there's like a specific floor I could really like hunt down that would be more topaz inclined than another. So I'm just gonna you know hope for the best here. I think. I'd never guess it's like a bad luck day today, though. These uh, these staircases are coming in fast and loose. Bone sword! Ooh! Okay, should I go... I don't know if bone sword is necessarily better for me here than... than broken trident. We're getting to the point where the broken trident will be superseded by a better weapon, but I feel like broken trident is still... still putting in pretty good work here. The bone sword, I mean... 
Bone Sword's probably about equivalent, honestly, with the with the uh, with the speed and everything counted for. Topaz is on any floor. I thought so. Yeah, most of the gems are on like every floor, or have the chance to show up on every floor, except like multiples of five, something like that. Just a weapon preference between them. I think you're right. And personally, I've said it. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm a dagger main. Daggers till the day I die. And that happens kind of often because, like, with the dagger, you have to get close to the monsters, so you have to. You know, there's a there's a pretty good chance that you that you will die. But but it's a risk I'm willing to take. I probably won't try to go much past floor 80 if I do get there today. Their bone sword for the road. Because without a uh without a steel pickaxe, getting getting through those floors can be a little bit too harrowing, I think. Steel pickaxe shouldn't be out of reach. In fact, like look how much look how much iron ore we've accrued, actually, my goodness. I didn't realize how how much I had found on this on this little dive here. You're not a dagger person, Terraria traumatized you. I should play Terraria. I should I should at least like give it an honest, earnest attempt. I've only ever played Terraria for, like in fits and spurts here and there, and just never really gave it a chance to for it to like sink its teeth into me. Thumbs up if you'd watch, like, a sort of, imp just like an impromptu Terraria stream. Possibly just a one-off, possibly more, depending on how how much I end up enjoying it. Thumbs up if you would watch a Terraria stream. Thumbs down if no. I got excited for a second because I thought this was a Topaz. It's just a, just a silly little jade here. The Claymore. Ooh, now that's a big boy sword. Look at that one. It's really heavy, hence the minus four speed, but but you can't argue with the damage. Holy moly. I mean, let me just see how it feels to go to go deeper here. Maybe I'm misremembering how, how rough this is. Also, I should well, I, sh I should have gone and started smelting stuff beforehand, but that's okay. Not like I can make it to Clint today anyway. Mostly thumbs ups in there. Your daughter loves Terraria. You've watched over her shoulder. You prefer not a stream. I'd be willing to give it a try for sure. Like, there's so many people. There, there's a pretty big crossover between the Stardew community and the Terraria community, from from everything I've seen. That like, I I feel like it's probably. There's, there's got to be something to it, right? That I'm, that I've missed out on so far. And I want to, I, I wouldn't mind giving Terraria a, a fair shake. Okay, these rocks do only take two hits. I don't know why I thought they were gonna take three. That is, uh, that's good though. Kabu literally speedruns Stardew Valley and Terraria. He's been doing some lethal company too recently, I think. Kabu, Kabu is becoming a variety streamer. I never thought I'd see the day. Actually, he's kind of been a variety streamer for a while, so <laughs> maybe not variety, but he has he has he has his games that he plays and he knows what he loves, and I respect I respect that. Same here, honestly. It's just my <laughs> the games the games I love and the passions I have are a lot more, you know, single single mindedly focused. That shouldn't have happened, by the way, right? This rock, like this ladder, that's an illegal. This is an illegal ladder. <laughs> that rock was like on the wood surface. I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't know if that's a product of Stardew expanded in some capacity or if that was just like weird, but. <laughs> But I don't think that rock... I don't think that, uh... That ladder should have been there. A 
Holy moly. We've really made it down like 15 floors today. Do I dare go for 20 floors? Well, first and foremost, I should get to smelting some of this stuff here. There is still technically a chance I could find a, a topaz, but it's not likely. Today's the final day as well. Yeah, Sebastian. The only reason I'm worried about Sebastian is if I find the topaz, so... I'm gonna do a little more iron mining, I guess, and, and just see if a topaz jumps out at us here. So I think it was, what, he heads home at 9.30? Is what people were saying? Terraria is one of your faves. I mean, I love uh, I love Stardew and I love Minecraft. There's definitely definitely an overlap there, so I think I just gotta I just gotta give it a chance. Many different gems today, but nary a topaz in sight. You know, while the Adventurer's Guild is open, because I don't think I'm going to get this topaz, I'm just going to go sell these weapons that I'm not using. I feel like I'll hold on to the Claymore and the Broken Trident, and then just, like, sell everything else here. I don't feel the, the need for them. The Lead Rod, maybe I could hold on to, I guess. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have. Would I rather have a lead rod or 300 gold? Probably a lead rod, honestly. 300 gold is not that impactful in this, uh... At this point in the game. It's very bullet, bullet hell-esque. Terraria is bullet hell-esque? I wouldn't. I honestly would never have guessed. I have not watched like any. I do, I basically know nothing about Terraria. I know the names of some of the bosses, and I know like the general vibe of the game, like the general sort of. I mean, honestly, I don't even really know the gameplay loop that well, but I know the kind of. I kind of get the vibe of what's going on. Oh, Yeti Tooth, yo! Yeti Tooth is so good. Yeti Tooth over Claymore, absolutely. I don't know what compelled me to go down to floor 85 of all things there, but I got myself a Yeti Tooth out of the deal. One of the best swords I could have, honestly. Dot, dot, dot. Don't you dot, dot, dot me, Marlon. I'm tired of that. I'm just thinking about something. All right, he's lost in thought. That's fair, then. Nope, sorry. Do you want this Claymore? All right, I think I'll make my way home here. Drop off the things I don't need. We'll sort everything out here. Actually, maybe I could... Uh, yeah, I could probably still make it home. I just want to wait for this iron ore to be done. So let's just go ahead and... Actually, honestly, I could probably start mining some gold ore at this point. Why not, right? Do I need that red mushroom for... Exotic foraging? I don't know if I've gotten one already. No reason not to take it, I guess. It's entirely possible in Terraria to just get a bunch of buffs and tank tank an entire boss fight on, or occasionally jump if you really want to do that. Many different ways to play. I imagine if I got familiar with Terraria, it probably would be one of those games where I would come up with like a bunch of different challenges I could I could undertake. There's probably like plenty of those out there already of people doing different sorts of challenges in the game. It very well could be my speed. I just have to. I just have to be open to it, I suppose. We'll see. We'll see. No promises of anything, but I'm it's it's on the it's on the radar. Okay. Bring all this home with me. Bone fragments, copper bar, clay, fiber stone, bat wings, void essence, spice berry, sweet pea, red mushroom. And for everything else, we can just leave it in this chest. Perfect. Dr. Rock says hello. 
caught up with the randomized with the randomized perfection vods, loving the craziness. I pre I appreciate the kind words. Thank you so much. I re I really do appreciate it, and I'm glad you're having fun with the vods as well. I mean, just seeing how passionate people get about Terraria and seeing how pe how much people like to talk about it gets me gets me excited at the prospect of uh, of giving it a whirl. How do we feel about Don't Starve as well? By the way, Don't Starve. I love the I love the aesthetic of Don't Starve. Don't Starve definitely has the has the one up on the aesthetic for me versus Terraria. Not that it's you know necessarily a contest, but. But it's, it's been another one that's kind of been on my radar of seeing like people people that I know playing it and enjoying it and having a great time. I have played it a little bit in the past. I played enough of it that I think if I really, you know, sunk into it, I would probably have a good time. It's definitely less of a blank slate for me than uh than Terraria is, is what I'll say. Never played Don't Starve. Binging Price of Perfection. It's so weird to see you take so many items home from the from the mines chest. It's a different world. It's a different world. We're living in an expanded world, if you will. An expanded universe. Okay. Um I probably will wrap up the stream here pretty soon. I think I'm gonna do we're gonna I'm gonna do one more day. Actually, yeah, no, we'll do one more day. I honestly am curious as to see, to see what happens with the, uh, like, up at the railroad with, what was her name, Susan? I mean, it's, it's a new area opening up, and I and Stardew Expanded has made every other area so far have something of interest to check out, so, so why not, right? So I'll take these so that I can get ready to upgrade my pickaxe. Beyond that, is there anything to, like, donate here? Doesn't seem like it. I guess I could open some geodes while I'm down there if I wanted to. Yeah, why not? Do a little geode opening extravaganza. Could could get lucky with the Omni Geodes, get the Iridium Ore that we need, so. Good night, Flop. Ooh, I wonder what that could be. There was an explosion during the night, you say? Well, well, well. Neutral luck today. Let me just double check that I've got Queen of Sauce. Coleslaw. I already know how to cook coleslaw. Perfect. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait. <laughs> I was just about to come see you! What a crazy coincidence! Hello, I'm Susan, the owner of Emerald Farm up, up at the railroad. Hello, Susan. Yo, I love you already. You, you have such a good aesthetic. I've been trapped up there alone since, ever since Joja caused the rock slide, so I've got a little bit of cabin fever. Happy to finally meet you, Flip. Stop by and visit Emerald Farm when you have when you have the time. Absolutely, I will. I will. I'll make my way up there post haste. Flip, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. Some things never change in this game. Some things never change. All right, we go grab some bait here. Swap this out. Yeah, I like her already. The fact—I mean, she came down bright and early, gave herself a good introduction to us here. I think I think I'm gonna like Susan. She seems a very neighborly. I don't know what her what her deal is up there necessarily. I do think it's cool that there's like you know multiple different farms around town. Beyond just, like, your own. Like, it, it just makes it feel like, you know, the valley is that much more vibrant and, like, rich and ripe for farming. The fact that you're not the only person here trying to, like, you know, make a living off of it. It's, it's really neat. I, kinda, I do like that. Alright, I'm gonna do a little... A little wander through town. Actually, you know what? I can bring the... Well, I was going to say I can bring the spring, the summer forage up to the community center and, and fill that out. 
and there's like speak of the devil here but I, I think I have the I have the grape here so I'll take that with me do sweet pea grape and spice berry actually a spice berry I can do this one perfect Um, well, I was going to bring a gift for Caroline, but she's going to be in Pierre's for a little while, and Pierre is closed today, so can't really do much with that. Bro, can you, like, not, please? 50% off coupons? Come get them while they last? All right, give me one. Give me one. Bro, I'm here. Dude, literally, I'm asking you, I will take your 50% off coupon and I will go buy your entire Joe just... I'll spend all $11,000 I have if you just give me a 50% off coupon. Bro, give me the coupon. Dude, what you, he's not... Is this guy... Is this guy for real right now? Does he want his business to thrive or not? I could really go for a farm fresh radish, Susan. Unfortunately, I haven't had the time to grow one, but... <laughs> Man... She real she was she was really raring to get out of that uh out from behind that rock slide. I have been hydrating. Thank you very much for uh for keeping up, Jarrah Smith. This is not where I need to be. Posted some of your Terraria projects in the Discord. Ooh, I might have a might have a little look see. Be a fun time. Bam, bam, bam. summer seeds. Should I plant these summer seeds? I don't have the sprinklers to do so without... I, I mean, I could I could manually water these seeds. We could do some manual watering and some sprinklering. There's no reason it has to be all or, all or nothing, right? So if I, if I plant them, then I can I can recycle them into more summer seeds, and then that'll be good for future tea sapling prospects. Usually plant like half of them. Oh, I need to buy some ice cream at some point here as well. Let me not forget that. All right, well, first and foremost, let's go ahead and process these geodes. We'll, just, we'll process them process them in order from sort of lowest quality to highest quality here. A little jamboree. Neko white. Everyone's favorite rec semi-recurring Stardew Argon stream bit. <laughs> name name the mineral before it gives you the name of the mineral. That's clay. I know that one. That's clay. That's clay. That is granite. Easy petrified slime. That's clay. My favorite. That's a thunder egg. That one's a thunder egg. So, oh, that's an earth crystal. Just tricky one. Tricky one. And that's a copper ore. All right. Level two. That's copper ore. That is kyanite. Easy. That's five stone. Don't make me laugh. Ooh, this is... Oh, hold on. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not... What is that called? What is that called? My brain, my brain. There's too much. There's there's lots of Stardew information in here. It's not Jago White. Why do I want to think? I say I want to say it starts with a J. What are you? What are you? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. I lost it. Again, I just not even give me. Doesn't even give me the name. <laughs> all right, it's fine. Can't get them all, I guess. That's a ghost crystal right there. Hematite, you're so... Oh my gosh. All right. Fingers crossed, Iridium more. Not great, not a great start. And a little calcite. Perfect. All right, well, thanks for nothing, Clint. Um, Please upgrade my steel pickaxe. I'll be on my way now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a decent amount of donatables, at least. You call Hematite the Minecraft potato? I see the resemblance, honestly. Okay. More gems go up here. Pretty decent selection of, of donations, actually. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. We really haven't opened that many geodes so far and expanded. Clean. 
Large futon bear. Give it to me. And the singing stone. You can hold on to the painting for now, though. Brewmaster's guide? I don't know how to do that. Why would I need this guide? <laughs> I mean, this is probably this, the stupidest sentence I've ever, ever uttered. I don't know how to do that. Why would I need a guide? <laughs> I'm more thinking, you know, I don't have the kegs to do that. So why don't, <laughs> so I don't need to read the book. Why don't you open until 10 a.m.? I'm going to wait. I'm going to... Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. There's actually something here? Claire, are you doing all right? So tired. Can't keep my eyes open. Oh, no. She she has been working, like, around the clock. I mean, there's this is not a surprise, honestly. Doing all right? Oh, apologies. Um, welcome to Jojo Mart. How may I help you? Hmm. How are you? Please don't tell my manager I was dozing on my shift. It's, it's fine. I th you're getting a lot of trouble. No worries. Hey, I don't have any good gifts for you, but, you know, you're doing great. You're, do you're doing amazing. Morris, do I have something to tell you? Chat, I don't want to get her- I don't want to get her fired. I just want to- Maybe I do want to get her fired so she can find a better job and like work, you know, maybe she could work at, at Pierre's. He could use an assistant probably. Get her out of here. They're, they're, cl they're clearly not, not doing her any favors here based on that. Oh, geez. Cutscene after cutscene. Wait, Morris, you were just in your office. I guarantee there is nothing to be worried about, Mayor. But there is, Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks when the landslide was cleared. Susan was shocked by the blast. She wasn't informed of the operation until... Everything is under control and will be fine, Mayor. The ramifications run deep. And what of the garbage Joja jumps into the river, Morris? Willie, our local fisherman, says he's catching Joja CDs and cola cans. Is that not supposed to happen? Might I remind you, pursuant to... in. In it, R2701, Joja Co. Amendment, Joja's operations here in Stardew Valley are fully compliant with the law. Morris is 100% the guy who would have met, memorized the legislation. I was just on my way. Good day, Morris. The lore runs so deep in this valley. Jojo's paving the way to greatness in Stardew Valley. It's only a matter of time until we are all united under Jojo. Join us thrive, as, as the signs say. Alright, um... I mean, if you had given me that 50% off coupon, bro, maybe we could be like... Maybe we could... I would be more inclined to listen to what you're saying right now, but... Honestly, go kick rocks. Sounds like a cult. Cult of the Joja. Alright. Hit me with this railroad. What do we got up here? Emerald Farm. Look at this. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is lovely. Oh, holy moly. Wait, we got some competition here. She doesn't have any sprinklers, though. She has to water all this by hand. Impressive, honestly. I could I could not. Could not catch me doing that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We really do have competition here. What in the world? I'm thankful Jojo cleared the rock slide. Lewis and I went through so much trouble getting them to remove the rocks. Jojo refuses to apologize. Well, I'm glad you're safe now. Woodworking basics. Mastering the essentials of craftsmanship. Maybe, maybe, maybe Leia could use that. Organic farming for sustainable agriculture. Was I trying to open her chest? No. It's a wooden crafting hammer made in Grampleton. Definitely not. Assembly instructions. Okay. As assemble the top by drilling pocket holes as shown and screwing together one and a quarter pocket hole screws. Hmm. Looks like a manual Susan is trying to use to make a storage chest. Is is using to make a storage chest, bro. She, she doesn't know. She doesn't know you can just cram fifty wood together in a big pile and it, and it turns into a chest. 
I'm not good enough friends with Susan to check out her, her kegs back there. This microwave smells like vegan Hot Pockets. What is that distinct from normal Hot Pockets? This, as, as far as smells go? The stovetop is crystal clean. Susan is taking a quota on next season's seeds. She is more, more prepared than I am. Ultimate Sweet Tooth Cooking Book. Now that's more like it. Let's go to Grampleton Travel Guide. Lori's Recipe Book. Lori, huh? Susan's last hop is password protected. Fair. This is valid. It's a replica model of the J.R. Forsant ship. It was famous for charting the entire Gem Sea. And this is a plant. Alright. Wait, radio? Alistair? The radio is set to a news station. Maybe I already checked that. Bro, I love visual storytelling. I, lo I love environmental storytelling. So nice. Anything going on up here? Immediately get hit by a train walk walking down the railroad. You can head up here. Hold Wait, hold on a minute. Hold on? Gerda. Slimes 93, Skeletons 22, Bats 18. Which one got her, you think? Which which of those three got her? Bear Claw. Slimes 753, Bats 103, Bugs 328, Shadow Brutes 87. Oh my gosh. Baron, Slimes 153, Shadow Brutes 9. The tenth one was too much, bro. Probably the bat. What is going on here? Ketra, slimes thirteen, bats four, bugs one. She was just, she was getting just getting started. This grave is being swallowed by the mountain. That is a, that is, I love that phrasing honestly. Red scar. There's an engraving saying this adventurer slew one thousand slimes and received an enchanted ring. That's cool. That's cool that they're like you know, sort of foreshadowing that. It's too faded to read. You can make out a faded outline of an Adventurer's Guild crest on the tombstone. It's too faded to read. Interesting. It was like a, a, a memorial site for, for the fallen adventurers. Allergic to bugs. It only takes one nasty bite. Alright, and this is where it stops here. Most people playing this would already know the reward for killing, killing a thousand slimes. You might not, though. You might not. Not everyone has the... has the patience to go through with that, so... But yeah, probably most people did. Interesting. Just, just slightly expanded. Nothing too earth-shattering out here. And honestly, that's fine. Let's check out the, uh, the bathhouse here. Just see if there's anything, anything new to concern ourselves with. Probably not, but, you know, we're in the business of exploring and discovering. The lime green swim trunks, bro. <laughs> the li even, even when he's relaxing, Flip can't escape the, the lime green. It's so good. This version of the railroad is beautiful. The yellow swim trunks, absolutely. We stand our colorblind king. All right. Let's go drop some stuff off. My inventory is looking, my inventory is looking very strange. This is like one of those inventories from like those uh, videos where it's or like that. It's like you'd like take a screenshot and it's like, can you tell what's wrong with this Stardew Valley image that like Blade and Sean do used to do? Flip was wearing flip flops. Yo, you're so right. <laughs> the prophecy. You were the chosen one, Flip. Good boy, Flop. Alright. Drop you in here. All this away for right now. Sell the Necoite 
probably not worth uh not worth holding on to. And get ourselves a big cuddly bear right there. And a singing stone to greet us when we come in. Ding. Just in case we didn't get enough dinging at the at the elevator in the mines, now we can get have digging at home. Okay. I think I will plant these summer seeds. We'll just do we'll do a little I'm not opposed to doing a little bit of manual manual watering. We'll do a, like a little plot. We could probably do like a little plot just like on the side over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Won't the bear keep me from getting into bed? He blocks part of it, but not the entire thing. There should still be room to, to sneak past him into bed. And he will protect us. Even if we don't make it into bed in time, he'll protect us from anything that, that might come our way should we pass out on the floor. Good news, the green wallpaper glitch is alive and well on the Switch. That's the one where... Oh, I, I don't know why I'm not using my copper watering can, by the way. What the heck am I doing here? That's the one where you take the green watering can... The green watering can. I'm mixing things up in my brain here. That's how you know it's time to just about call it. <laughs> it's where you take the green wallpaper and get the galaxy sword because the game thinks it's a prismatic shard, right? I haven't thought about that glitch in a long time, to be honest with you. I feel like that one's been out of the game for for a minute, at least on uh, on PC here. Okay. 7.10 p.m. It's an awkward time of night. I could go fishing, I suppose. I could I could do a little bit of fishing here. Is there any summer fish I can catch for the community center? At night here. Red snappers, rain, tuna, and tilapia earlier in the day. Quality fish, that's tuna again. Lake fish is going to be sturgeon. Night fish is only the walleye, which is fall. We could go try a crimson fish again, I guess. That one was patched, but the movie bundle is not. Oh, using it for the, for the missing bundle, gotcha. The green watering can is what happens when you don't upgrade the watering can and it oxidizes after a long time. It's true. It's true. I don't know. Should I go fishing? I'm so I'm so torn. Let's go fishing at Shearwater Bridge. Just see if there's any new new summer fish that might greet might greet us out there. Couldn't hurt to check, right? You're eating mochi. Sarah, are you eating ice cream mochi or other or alternative mochi? I've still only tried the the ice cream mochi myself, so I'm not I'm not familiar with other kinds just yet. Regular mochi. I got I got to get some of that. The ice ice cream mochi was good, but I was told it's not it's not the same as as normal mochi. With azuki beans inside. I don't think I've ever heard of azuki beans, to be honest with you. Ice cream mochi is fantastic. Honestly, I was inclined to pick up some more the other day. I probably will at some point in the near in the near future. It's a nice it's a nice little treat just to have on hand. Raise your hand in chat if you're more of a snacker than a than a meal haver. I try to have like a, a good assortment of meals throughout the day. I especially make sure not to miss not to miss breakfast because my body really doesn't like me if I miss breakfast. But honestly, there there's a lot of days where I don't really have like a proper lunch or dinner. I just kind of like snack throughout the day. I try to vary up the snacks, so you get, you know, you get, like, a little fruity snacks, you get some savory snacks, you get 
all sorts of different things just to cover all your bases. But I'd say, I'd say these days it's pretty rare for me to have like three meals in a day. At most, I'll probably have two. Definitely a snacker. This is not a... That's not a pike. <laughs> what is that? Wait, what is that? That's gotta be... Maybe it could be a puppy fish, I guess, or like like a puppy or slash butterfish or something like that. I don't know. That felt that that felt new. What's my go-to snack? I tend to have cheese strings and granola bars on hand most of the time in my in my place, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. Whether I'm in more of like a a salty, savory mood, or a, or a sugary, sweet kind of mood. Sugary, sweet, I'll have, like, a nice granola bar with some mixed berries in there. Or else I'll or also have, like, a, uh, a cheese string. Either one can hit the spot, for sure. And if I really feel like treating myself, I'll have, I'll have some pudding cups on hand. Either chocolate pudding or rice pudding, if I'm feeling a little fancy. This is not a pike, is it? That is a butterfish. Okay, I got it. Butterfish available in summer. Marking it down. I still think that that other fish was a was a new breed of fish. I don't. That's not one that I can really think of that would be here in like in like the fresh water. I want another another crack at it if I can, but we'll see. If nothing else, this is what's gonna keep me coming back to Stardew Expanded time and again. The chance to find new fish. The dopamine release I get when I when I see a brand new sprite of a fish coming up to me from the from the tip of my bobber is unparalleled. I can't describe it to you. So satisfying. I listed your three staple work snacks. What can I say they're they're it's a good it's a good rounded selection of snacks, in my opinion. Alright, I think this is the one I missed previously. Am I gonna miss it again? Possibly. <laughs> There's, there's a distinct chance here. Oh, oh. Come on. Give me a chance. Give me, give me a... Give, don't, don't let this slip away. This is definitely not a butterfish. This is, this is harder than a butterfish. For sure. It, I don't think it's a puppy fish. I feel like the puppy fish was easier than this. Maybe I'm mistaken. What do we got? It's just a puppy fish. Alright, fair enough. Garden variety puppy fish. Wants nothing but pets and snacks. Maniac party, welcome on in. I'm excited to find find more of these like unique fish. I might not necessarily go for perfection in expanded here, but I could be persuaded to go for for master angler at the very least, just to like catch every fish. I think that could be fun. Couple emeralds. Don't mind if I do. Alright, one more for the road and then we'll head home. This mod adds like 20 fish. I want to go on a deep scavenger hunt through all the mods in Stardew Valley. Find every mod that adds any fish at all. And just see how many fish we can get in the collection. As long as they're compatible with one another, and we can, and we can, we can. I just want to see how big the fishing collection can get, and then we just go. What modded fish have I caught? We can check. We can check this. We have caught. None of these are modded fish. We've caught butterfish, dulse seaweed, frog, grass carp, starfish, puppy fish, and a single minnow. And there's still many more to uncover, as as I can see. Like, where does the where did the modded fish even start here? Was the blue discus, and then we get 
Okay, let me see. This is that's that's a moonlight jelly. This is um void salmon but flat. This is a pickle. This is a balloon animal. That's a swordfish. That one is an eldritch abomination. This one's the pixel fish. This one's the crimson fish's long lost long lost brother, not the son of crimson fish. It's the crimson fish's brother. That one's meowth. Um, this one is a Lunaloo. This one is a, is a Japanese flying fish. That one is a, is a, is a brick fish. This one's a blobfish part two. That's a seahorse. That one is a three horse. That one, this one is a, um, Big shrimp. It's a prawn. It's a prawn. That's the word I was searching for. That is a bazooka. Um, that is a, an angelfish. This is the super lava eels we established. And that's barboach. Did I get them all right? I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident in most of those. It seems like the. the I mean, the silhouettes just kind of give it away. It's a bumblebee fish. Some of them I got right. Let's go. I didn't get like zero for thirty. If I were to take an honest guess at some of the, at the ones I got right, I would probably say this is definitely a jellyfish, as is this one. This one really does strike me as like a flying fish. This one strikes me as an angelfish, and this one strikes me as a swordfish. Other than, other than those, I'm not entirely sure. That that I, I could probably see that being a seahorse, honestly, but either way. Get sold, my friends. I think jellyfish equals hermit crab. That's possible. I could see that. It's a leek. <laughs> the leek fish. My favorite fish. Alright, pop them away. Good night, flop. Lovely, productive day. The fishing is out of control here. Three thousand dollars off of that day of fishing. We take those. And right, please shout out your cat. His name is Gorbash. Shout shout out to Gorbash. Rhymes with DoorDash. I respect it. All right. Oh, big stretch. I think I am going to call it a stream. <laughs> we made some pretty good progress here. We've discovered more fish. The, sec the Secret Woods escapade was honestly, like, magical. I'm glad that we got to experience the, uh, the thrill of the, secret of the Secret Woods and its expanded form. And we got to meet Susan. We, there's so, it's, the valley is truly opening up. It was, it was a really fun time. Thank you all for joining me on this leg of our journey through Stardew Expanded. Still no hat to grace our presence, or any boots for that matter. What, what, where are all my boots at? What the heck? How have I gotten this far into the mines? I'm on floor 80, I don't have any boots? What's going on, man? We might have to remedy that. <laughs> Can you buy them from the Adventurer's Guild? I don't know. Either way, we'll figure that out next time. So, um, thank you. Priya Singh at the very end here for being a member for five months at the Electron level. Farewell to everyone else. I will see you all hopefully on Thursday when we continue on Beatrix's randomized journey. Looking forward to it. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you. Good night, y'all. Bye-bye.
do 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 hold on i'm singing so until i can get the music back up do 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 all right there you go all right bye everybody